all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends uh, and let us do the good work for today always you know we see the Muslims speaking about how Islam is a way of life and how Islam is the way to live but if we open the borders of Muslims all of them they will flee countries of Islam and they will come to the West and even though we don't open the borders yet they are fleeing their Islamic countries and coming to the West America is the big Satan Israel is a small Satan England is a fat Satan France is the wife Satan I mean all the countries of non-islamic are satanic but yet they are desperate to go to the Satan land interesting actually it's a dream of every Abdul <clears throat> to come to the Satan land nobody want to do stay in Allah land is that because the Muslims are convinced that Allah is not God and Islam is nothing but a lie we will find out we have a guy uh, he said he want to call me <coughs> the Abdul let us see <coughs> and he is very excited supposedly I like it when Muslims are excited and I like to make them excited oh now he is in the public transportation uh-huh I see hello 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 yes hi a Muslim saying to me hi since when Muslim they say hi <laughs> what is that are you uh, are you made in America no no I'm from Europe you're made in China no no so why you are a Muslim saying to me hi uh, you want proper greeting well I don't know like you are a Muslim supposedly but you say hi this is weird I mean is, are you playing taqiyya what is the point <laughs> anyway no. you said you want to call me and here we go we are live on air yes and yes, people okay. are listening Sure. What do we want to talk about? Well, our topic today is what is Allah and mm -hmm. how can he be true God and exist? And you told me that you want to prove to me that Allah, he made the Jews pigs? Yes, yes. Mm, how he made them pigs? Yes, I was listening to an um, early co conversation of you with another guy about this topic. Mm. And you was asking me questions why uh, Allah made the Jews pigs, right? Mm. And yeah. monkeys. Mm. And, and uh, I was listening and uh, the other guy, he didn't really answer really well. So you think he can answer well? Uh, a, a little bit more, yes. Okay, let's start with hi. Hi. I'm, I'm not an Islamic scholar. Yeah, you are not. But still, you are saying yeah, that you can do better than that guy. So I don't know. The Sheikh could not mm -hmm. answer it. So why you can do better? Why you think, what makes you think you can do better? He wasn't Sheikh. No? Huh? No, he even, shy? no, even shakes. We ask them and we shake them with that question. Still, they could not answer. Let us hear you. Go ahead. How, ah, how, how yes, you can yes. explain to us Allah, He made the Jews, pigs, and monkeys, and rats, and lizards? Yes, hmm. it, that was uh, first. You need to read the verse in context. Oh, read it for us. Go ahead. Take, yes, yes. Okay. The, this uh, punishment was uh -huh. uh, to a specific group of Jews who, mm -hmm. who were breaking the Sabbath. Hmm. That's it. And not all, not all the Jews were punished. Well, only thank, that specific. Thank group. God, not all the Jews. I mean, imagine, man, all the Jews. Thank God. I mean, so, mm -hmm. so you really believe that this your God, because somebody he yeah. broke the Sabbath, he yes. uh, he made those a group of Jews who live in that uh, town. All of them the pigs and monkeys. You believe in that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe in that. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me ask you a question. How many Muslims they break the command of Allah every day? A lot. Okay. Why Allah don't? 
Uh, that were different times huh? because not all the prophets uh, were in existence. What the message? Uh, not all prophets were born around that time. Wait, wait, what, what does have, have, have to do with this? If what kind of God? Only Allah want to transform the Jews into pigs and monkeys. Only if because they are Jews, or this is because they broke broke a command. But uh, you are Christian. You also believe in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? This is another question. God, this is another question. God punish, uh, God no, punish no. People. The Bible says if there is only ten righteous left there, God will not punish them. Yeah. So the whole city is corrupt, and there is no city is corrupt. All of it. Now those people, they are they, 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 not all of them. They, you know, the, uh, uh, there's no no proof in the story that all those Jews are corrupt people. Even if they ate in in a, they did fishing in Saturday, this is not about. Uh, uh, the same yes. as Sodom and Gomorrah just just did fishing. Still, they believe in God. They pray to God, and they do everything God He want. Yes, so, but yes, but they broke the law. Well, I, this is my question. That's mean. You, if you if you even even if you break a simple law, Allah mm -hmm. will transform you into a pig and a monkey. Why Allah don't transform the Jews, the Christians, the people who the Hindus? Why Allah don't make them pigs and monkeys too? Which one that's is more harmful? To, that, that's up to him. I don't claim to be smarter than God. Okay, but do, you have, but do you have any any proof that somebody was transformed into a pig or a monkey? No, we don't have proof. Okay, let me ask we you. Have the Quran. Okay. Do you have the, proof of Sodom and Gomorrah? Yes, in the, in the even Bible? yes, even even scientists prove it that there is a this, that that location was burned suddenly and nobody can explain why it was. Oh, a, it, a, a, yes, even scientists prove it. Now let me ask you. The Quran says to the Christians. If you don't believe in Allah, Allah will erase your faces. Maybe in the afterlife. No, this is not afterlife. He said exactly the same as I did to yeah. the Jews. So, so this is mean is not afterlife. Maybe, maybe with the. Don't sickness. tell me maybe. I don't go by maybe. maybe. Let, let us go. Maybe let us go back. Let sickness. us go back to high. High. Don't tell me maybe, yeah. my friend. Here it says the same as we did to the Jews. So the Jews, he did but, not change them into pigs and monkeys in the afterlife. He changed them now, uh, which means in this yes. life. So he said to yes. them, you Christians, if you don't believe in Muhammad, I will erase yes. your faces. I will erase your eyebrows. I will make your nose upside down. If you don't believe mm -hmm. in Muhammad, the same as I did to the Jews, the one who they are cursed because of the Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. So this is, was not ah. a curse for the afterlife. This was a curse for today. Why Allah did not make the Christians uh, keep his a promise and do what he promised to do if we don't believe he will go I don't believe and your question is now about uh, the, the Jews or for about the faith is about the Christians down? Allah he promised supposedly this is a weak hadith by the way Allah he promised mm -hmm. uh, this is Allah he promised uh, uh, that if, uh, if the Christian don't uh, uh, convert to Islam Allah will erase their eyebrows their eyes he will make them like there's yes. no eyes in their faces so yes uh, do if you, you believe in this, do you believe uh, first, in this hadith? Then, uh, this, it's obvious. It's not uh, to taken to be literal. Ah, so but if this has happened, it is going. So Allah, sometimes He says things, but He don't mean it. You see. Sometimes you have also verses in the Quran that uh, Allah is uh, expanding the breast of the believers. Hmm. This is not literal. That He's not literal. Uh, no, but not in this case. Not in this case. Don't, let, 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 us not play, let us not to play games. Speech. Let us not to play games. This is not the case here. This is not metaphorical. He said exactly like who, like those who they are cursed in Sabbath. He didn't say like the one we extend yes. their breast. So he gave us an example, which is a real example according to you. you a second ago, you said you told me you believe in it, right? Yes. But, okay. But so as I'm long he's saying the same you, as we did to wait those. Wait a minute, please. Hmm. What I'm trying to tell you is that some verses in the Quran are not literal. They are figure of speech. My friend, who cares? This is not the question. This is a, this is a literal, obviously, because he said the similarity as I did to the Jews. This is was literal or not? Yes, it was. Yeah. So he gave an example an of example. something happened supposedly. Allah made an example of no, those, my friend, your God, uh, your God, no, your, your God is a false God. He made a promise that if we don't believe in Muhammad, Allah will erase the faces and the details of the faces of the Christians. And the Christians did not believe in that. And here we go. Allah, after 1400 years, nothing happened yet. So Muhammad is a fake prophet. No, maybe he still will do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. They are dead. People are dead in the time of Muhammad. All of them, they are dead already. What he will do it later? Well, they are dead. There, there's no faces those, left. Those, those who live in the time of Muhammad, those who live in the, the time grave. of Muhammad, they are dead. He, Allah, he will erase their faces later. Don't play this yeah. game. Allah, he says, similarity to those we cursed them in the Sabbath. Okay, who are they? Those people who live at that time. And he did mm -hmm. change their look at that time, not later, not in the judgment day. 
So in the same time, we can go and see the interpretation. All the interpretation agree that this is about the Christians and who don't believe in Allah. Allah, he threatened them that we are going to do this to you if you don't believe. And this is was an element of threat. That's now we would do it for you, not later. Yes, but the world has not ended yet. It still can. My happen. friend, they are dead. What are they, what ended my ended? What are you talking about? They are dead. You cannot change their faces anymore because they have no skin. And the Jews, he said, is same as the Jews. The Jews are the, the Jews. Did he did it in the after time or he did it immediately? Yeah. He did it immediately. So come on, we have to be honest but, here. Uh, yes, but uh, we're talking about religion. Is it a very important aspect of religion? No. It's yes, it is. It is. Aspect. It is because if God He promised something, He have to finish it. Yes, maybe He will. Let me do ask it. you. Let me we ask you. Know. If God I say to you, if I say know. to you, let me. If I say to you, if you don't pray in certain way, Allah will make your face a face of a donkey. Do you believe in me? No, I don't believe. It. Why? I never heard uh, of this before. I know, but do you? Why? Why you think I will? Uh, this is the, the, the. Does it? Does it sound ridiculous or stupid for you? Or why we don't believe in it? Uh, I haven't read it. This is not a question. This is not a question. Why you don't believe in it? So, so you are saying to me, if you read it somewhere, then you believe in it, just because somebody a, said that to you. If it's an authentic source, I will believe it. This is yes. not a question. I'm saying me, 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 me. Not somebody said that. Me. If I say to if you, if you say it, yeah, no, if, I don't believe it. Why? I need to control. I need to check it. Hmm. Okay, well, but how you believe that uh, if somebody said something to you is true? Hmm. Yeah, but you are a person, and God is God. It's a, that's the difference. What God is your prophet Muhammad God? No, no, it's not God. So why you believe in whatever he's <laughs> you saying? You know that. You know that. No, I know that Muhammad is God, and I can prove it easy. No, Muhammad is not. Okay, God. let me ask you. You Muslims, you keep saying to us, if the Hadith this contradict is, the Quran, is a listen. It's a shirk, no, if you, you say to not. us, you say to us that if the Hadith contradict the Quran, you don't accept mm -hmm. it. Correct? Uh, the Quran comes first. Hmm. The Quran comes first. Okay. Then the Hadith. Okay, but if the, what if the Hadith contradict the Quran? Which one you take? The Quran. Okay, so why you say to us muta is forbidden? Sorry, why you say to us that the muta, the sexual relationship contract, is forbidden? No, this is something from the Shia. We don't. I'm Sunni. I don't do this. My friend, this is Quran. What Sunni? What Shia? Quran confirmed the no, muta. No. Chapter four, verse twenty-four. What are you talking about? I can't answer you on this topic. I don't know anything. Do you want to call a friend? No, but okay. I let us go back to zero. Let us go. Important. Let us go back to zero. Let us go it's back. Let us go. No, it's important because you, because you Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. You say we follow only Quran if there's contradiction, and we find that yes. the major law in Islam they are contradicting the Quran. The Quran say you do muta. You say to me that Muhammad yeah. says no muta no more. So what you follow? You follow Muhammad, not Allah. Islam is very simple. You need to believe in one God and pray five times a day. That's, it, it. That's, that's very that's, that's that's very funny. I mean, the people who believe in Satan as God, he's one God too, and they pray to him six times a day. So are they better than you? Satan. Satan, yeah. There's people who believe in Satan as God. Yeah, no problem if they want to believe Satan. It's okay, so but I'm asking you now, what, what is the proof that Allah is a God? Islam is very uh, simple. The you know, Holy I mean, I mean you, 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 my friend, you, you say to us, Islam is very simple. Believe mm -hmm. in one God. And pray yeah. five times. Who is that God? You do not know. Who is Allah? This is the God of Jesus. This is not that. So no, no, don't tell me. This is don't tell me. Don't tell me. This is the God of Jesus. This is garbage. Prove to me who is Allah. You don't even know who is Allah. No, no. This is an impossible question. Nobody can prove or uh, uh, the existence of God. So this you are. So you question. are worshiping unknown God. But the Christian can also uh, no can no. Also Jesus is exists. That the date today. The date today is February sixteen. 2019 mm. this is the date of Jesus don't tell me that exist the whole world run by his time so don't tell me can you, can you repeat that please today is February 16 2019 after Christ this is the date of Jesus no this is from the Gregorian no calendar. my friend this is after Jesus no this Jesus. is after Jesus this is the, 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 the date after Jesus everybody knows no no yeah yeah no no you know no no yeah no yeah, it no. Yeah, the calendar, yeah, the calendar not, has not. changed. So uh, in the century. it doesn't matter. No, this is calendar, not. This is not, the, not the, the same. The date the we have is a base on Christ. Base on Christ. Don't lie. So not. Don't tell me that Christ does not exist. Can you prove it? Now I'm asking you, who is Allah? Okay, answer this question first. In which month is Jesus born? In the winter or in it the It doesn't summer? matter. It doesn't matter. We go no, by the year. Doesn't. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter really. It doesn't matter. Why not? 
because I mean, why why would I care? Obviously, this is was not important yeah. for for the 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 the, 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 the Christ himself to say, and not important for the yeah. church father to say, because we are not going to worship time or days. We are people who follow Jesus. But yes, but you started talking about calendars. So the calendar, I, yes, you are saying to me he does not exist. I'm saying to you, how is it exist when the whole world run by his time? I'm just using using the way the way you understand how he doesn't exist, but your computer run by his time, your watch run by his time, your salary you get paid is by his time. So now I'm asking you, who's mm -hmm. Allah? You can read the Quran and you can fight out yourself. I find that Allah is very funny, cannot be exist. There is no way God he says women have a sperm no? coming from their ribs. Have you ever heard of a God he says women have a sperm coming from their ribs? Yes, this is proven. This is proven, really. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you would my respect your wife <laughs> when you sleep with your wife, would my respect your wife. I'm not insulting. Do you find yeah. that she have testicles in her breast? No. <laughs> so how you come to me that you say to me this is proven? Yes, but you uh your interpretation is wrong. My friend, That's what interpretation? Broken. I'm not using my interpretation. Let us show you your Islamic yeah. interpretation. Don't play games with me. Here we go. Show me your interpretation. Silence me. Show me. Yes, but now I, I can't uh, I can't see the screen. I'm in the bus. No problem. I will read it for you. He's in the bus. Mashallah, mm -hmm. in the bus. Okay, this is a holy holy bus. Okay, this is <laughs> chapter eighty six, verse number, verse number seven, and this is your interpretation. Don't tell me this is your interpretation. And I can show you Ibn Kathir. I can show wherever you want. This is a Jalalain. I can show you Ibn Abbas. I can show you wherever you want. All of them they can they, they confirm that this yeah. is a, a sexual fluid coming from the backbone of the man. And the, yeah. the the ribs of the women, and you yeah. are the one who said to me, you just you you, you just said you believe in it, right? Yes. Okay. How wh where you get the conclusion that women they have a sperm first, and their sperm is coming from the location of the necklace? Yes. Where you get that, that from? Proven. 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 proven by who? Give me the name of the idiot. Uh, you can look it up. Look this, it, uh, this, this, this his name. Is, his, uh, his name is look it up. This, no. This accusation is very old. Uh -huh. Doctors has, uh, have studied it. Doctor who? Doctor, right. doctor what? Doctor what? Doctors, doctors. Doctors. Uh, I thought you said Doctor mm. Susu. He studied it. Okay. Now, <laughs> my friend, my friend, there's no doctor in the world says that women have a sperm unless we want to say the chromosome is a sperm. But this not. A, but the, but this is not a sperm. That's being stupid. So, uh, uh, the Quran confirmed that women have a sperm coming from the location of the bones. Where are the bones? The bones of the necklace. Which means where is the necklace located? How in the world someone he claimed to be God and you worship him five times a day and you think he is mm -hmm. the only true God he says such a stupid thing? Yes, this now I don't think it's stupid. Why? I already told you. What do you mean? Here we go. Ibn Kathir is saying, Yeah, yeah proceeding yeah. from between said, the backbone of the ribs and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the of the man. And the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. Thank you. Nice to meet you, my friend. So, according to Islam, you know, mm. when you have sex with your wife, you have to be yeah. sure that her chest is working fine because this is where the sperm of the women came in from. And Muhammad, he mm -hmm. explained how the sperm of the women look like. Let us see the description of Muhammad. He said, "Okay, before you begin at that, let me ask a simple question: mm. uh, In which season was Jesus born?" I don't care. Bring all all, all seasons are the seasons belong. All season on, belong to the season of Jesus. I don't care. This is not my. I don't care. I don't even care to celebrate his birth or even. I don't. I don't care for all of this. We care. We celebrate that he came to us, and this is what we care for. And how how many years he preached? One or three? It doesn't matter. Even it's one day. I am follower of Jesus, and he proved himself to me. This yeah. is not. You are trying to change the yeah. topic because you are ashamed of your no, stupid Quran. No, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, investigating how much you know about. First, investigate your God. You my, know, my God yeah. is very well known. His name is the Messiah. He walked in the ground. He made the the, the, yeah, yeah. the, the blind the blind see. Like, uh, even like even even the yellow pages. Even the yellow pages of the Quran confirm that. If you open the yellow pages of the Quran, you will see that the Quran says. Which is the yellow pages of Muhammad saying that Jesus he healed the leper, he made the blind see, he came yes, yes. resurrect people from death. So why that. you are asking me which day he's uh, he came to earth? This is very funny of you. Yes. Even your God, he don't care for the day of Jesus when Do he's born. Even your God don't care winter. when Muhammad. Uh, even your God don't care when Muhammad is born. Is that true? But you so you can't answer. I don't care for the answer of this because this is silly of you. You are trying to change the topic. Why you want to care for this? No, no. 
no. I have read the Gospels and I have questions. Maybe you can answer. No them. problem. How I am answering years? you. You see, How this is a, this is a question. Is not from, this is not a question from the gospel. This is a question from your bum. Who cared when Jesus no, no. was born? Who cared about this? Why it's important for you? Jesus said, know. "Let me tell you what Jesus maybe said I'm, about his uh, about, about his existence." Million. Let me tell you, Jesus said, "Before Abraham, I am," which means nobody knows really except what the Bible says that he is the Alpha and the Omega, which means he's before all mankind, before everybody. Yes, he, okay, is the, he is the he is the first. Listen, please. listen, I'm answering you from the Bible. Please. If you don't like the answer, go jump from the top of the mountain. This is not you are playing games now. Jesus says, "Before Abraham, I am." So his birth is not important for me because this is just when he came in the flesh. But he has exists already. He has exists before okay. Abraham, before Adam, before everybody. He is the first. He is the last, which means everything. And the Bible says, "Everything was created by him and for him." So, and he is the visible so, image so of the invisible God. Indoctrinated man. Now I answer you. Now, are you going to answer are, me? What no, kind of facility? What kind of facility, God? What kind of facility, God? He says to us that women have a sperm from their ribs, and he can he prove me wrong that Allah is a city and the stupid. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Why you why nice you are running away? Why you are running away? Is your wife she having because a sperm you, in her chest now? No, no, because, no, no, because you won't answer my question. I answer so you. I answer you. You are a coward. You are running. I answer you. I said Jesus said. When he's exist, no, his existence is before Abraham, before what Adam. No, this is what Jesus said. If you don't like what Jesus said, then that you are a coward. You ask me where we are talking about the Bible, not what people say. The Bible is the answer. The Bible says that Jesus, yes. Jesus said that before Abraham I am. So you ask me about his that, birth, that, that is that, very that, silly. That's not my question. I don't How care. I don't care. I don't care. Please. I don't care. You, do you know when Muhammad is born? Really? Nobody knows, but Muslims they are guessing. They say that uh, okay. Monday, what Monday? The, if you look Have at the nice birth, the, the, just to show you, don't run, just don't run. If you go right <laughs> now and tell me when, what, what month you celebrate the birthday of Muhammad, it was two months ago, right? But two years ago, no, it was I a four month ago. Celebrate. Yes, you we see, all, guys, Muhammad, if you go right now in search on Google, you will find the birth of Muhammad once was in June, July, once was in June, once was in February, mm -hmm. was once in, in March. Yes. Why? Because the stupid Islamic calendar keep moving around the year, and that's why Ramadan is yes. the same. So Ramadan that sometime Muslim, in December. That, uh, sometime. That Muslims don't worship Muhammad. You so worship Muhammad. Important. You worship Muhammad more than Allah. Here we go. The Quran confirmed that. What uh, do you want me to show you that Muhammad is more important to obey more than Allah? Yes, show me, please. All right, here we go. Which one you have to obey first, Allah or Muhammad? Allah. What if I show you that Allah? He said you obey Muhammad first. Good. Hmm. I'm curious. All right. Did you say I'm curious? Mm -hmm. hmm. You're not curious about to find out how the women have a sperm. Anyway, yeah, let us that's see. not so uh, important okay. for me. Okay, here we go. Chapter four, verse number eighty. It says, "The one who obey Allah, the messenger, he obey Allah." Do you see it? Yes. Yes. So when which I don't one? See, but I hear you. Which one is first to obey? Yes, but that was during the time of. Prophet. Doesn't matter, my time. friend. No, no, that's the time. Now you obey him still. Don't be a liar. Stop moving your tongue in the in the in the empty cup. Let's ask me why Allah says if this is the one is talking is Allah. Why he says the one who obey Muhammad he obey Allah. Yeah, when when the prophet was alive, people mm. need to obey the prophet. This is another yes. question. Why he have to be obeyed? And then if you obey Muhammad, you obey Allah. Not if you obey Allah, you obey Muhammad. Because Muhammad is prophet. Because Muhammad is God, and Allah is He's just He's, he's just a shade, nothing. Oh, Let on, me ask you: on, Is Muhammad is a is a Muhammad is a, th a sinner man? Yes or no? Sorry, a sinner? is Muhammad a sinner man? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So how you say obey a sinner man, and by obeying a sinner man, you obey Allah? Yes. Muhammad was prophet, but just a human. This is just not the like question. Oh, this is not the question. How Allah He says, if you obey the sinner man Muhammad, you just confirm that Muhammad is a sinner. How you say, mm. if you obey the sinner Muhammad, you obey Allah. He is a sinner. Yes. So how a sinner can be obeyed blindly? But this is yes, he can sin. So how but Allah He, he says, obey Muhammad. Then, if Muhammad yes. is a sinner, he can make bad bad things. Let us say, imagine, say, if you obey Christian prince, you yes. obey God. Okay, that's stupid because a Christian prince is a sinner, and that means if we do what he do, we are going to be in trouble. So how you confirm to me that Muhammad is a sinner, but whoever mm. obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. Yeah, because the general message was good. 
the general message was my good. friend what message what with general message whoever obey the messenger doesn't matter what he say you obey yes okay but he's a sinner you just confirmed to me he's a sinner yes yes okay that's every mean he do human is a sinner okay no problem that's wonderful every human is a sinner except Jesus according to to to, to Quran in chapter 19 verse yes. 19 it says he's holy that's, thank you now listen that's right okay so whoever obey Muhammad the sinner obey Allah that's mean Allah is a sinner too because he approved the sin of Muhammad oh, to be obeyed look look looking I'm looking can, look look um, a person can sin but they can, he can still be a good person mm hmm really so yeah. so if we have a hooker and Allah he says no, whoever like obey his extreme example who, this no is like this is extreme, really no 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 this is extreme example. Muhammad he was a hooker and I can prove it and his father was a hooker <laughs> No, but, come on. Okay, did you uh, okay. did you have like my book? Did you have my book? Did you have you my book? Did you have my book? Did you, you uh, go and see the reference? The father of Muhammad was offered money for sex. Yes or a lie? I don't know. You don't, don't mean you do not know. I don't care if you know or not. Yeah. I know. So Muhammad is from a family of hookers, and he himself was a hooker. He married a woman oh. just because of, of, of money, 25 years older than oh. him. His uncles were, were the guardians of the Kaaba. What guardian? He this is a lie. Yes. Even read the story. Read the story of Khadija. When the father of Khadija learned, Khadija, she made her father get drunk in order to make Muhammad, to make him believe that Muhammad became a husband. Uh, these are all rumors. These are My rumors. friend, what rumors? I can show it to you from your Islamic books. Uh, what are I you never, Guys, this is rumors. I, read this. <laughs> I don't care if you read or not. This is why I'm a Christian prince and you are not. Now we go back oh, to zero. Oh, oh, only, we only we go back to zero. We go else. we go back to zero. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 So now chapter Hi. four, verse number eighty. It says, "Whoever obey obey the sinner Muhammad, he is obeying Allah." So your God yes. is promoting sinners to be in charge of mankind and is claiming yes. that if you obey a sinner, you are saved. Yes. How that can be? Yes, we are. All, we are all sinners. It's like a repetition so how you say the obey argument. the sinners how Allah he says if you obey the sinners you obey God well, He doesn't say that it says that in the front of you you are the one who said to me Muhammad is a sinner Do you are you going to swallow your words yes. again? Okay, so you confirm yes. that to me. But, but, That's but, wonderful But, but uh, the Quran doesn't say follow the sinners. It says here whoever Muhammad obey Muhammad he obey yes. Allah. Yes, but on Muhammad yes. is a sinner. That's it Yes, every human is a sinner. So okay, so whoever <laughs> obey Muhammad the sinner he obey yeah. Allah. How if we obey a sinner? What if okay, Muhammad now? Yeah, he come with many things stupid as an example Muhammad He says if a woman she see a man he is looking at her in dirty way. She have to give yeah. him her boobs No, it doesn't say that come on. Do you want me to show you? <laughs> I can see I'm on the phone. I'm still on this. Yeah, you are in the phone. You can switch. No problem You can unmute YouTube Let me show you This is your prophet. He order a woman to give her boots to a stranger and to, <laughs> I, to, don't I, I don't believe that I don't care if you believe it or not uh, you know this is this is uh, this is funny I don't believe it I mean this is this is your book are you are you insulting your prophet oh this whole discussion is very funny I know say hi again <laughs> here we go this is your prophet a woman she came to him her name is Sahla bintu Suhail and yeah. she and she said that my husband is getting jealous for this guy he is in our house so she he said yeah. to her Give him your boobs and let him suckle at ten times. So the women, she yeah. said, how I'm going to this, suckle him? And he is a grown man. Hadith. Come on, man. Huh? About us, uh, this is a really weak hadith. I know this. Hadith. What weak hadith? This is Sahih Al Bukhari yes. and Sahih Muslim. What no, are you no. talking about? Even this one is Sahih now. Uh, is weak. You Muslims why, why are very are funny. What are you talking about? Those, uh, extreme examples. I don't care. You what are always looking for extreme, How in the uh, world? Examples, how in the world stories. you come to the conclusion that this is a weak hadith? This is Sahih Muslim. And we can find you in Sahih al Bukhari. But I listened uh, a couple of times to your uh, podcast. Yeah, you well, 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 when you say it's a week, why you are lying? Can you give me one reference in the world say this is a weak hadith? Yes. Give me. You know. What do you know? You know. I know everything. <laughs> I know that this is not a week. Yeah. The only week yeah. here I see is the boobs of the Muslim women who they are tired from being suckled by men. 
But is this uh, Christian uh, be behavior? You see, in the Christian behavior, Jesus here we go. Like so this. you are ashamed. It's so if like, I quote for you, no, no. if I quote for Jesus you what your like prophet, like listen, this. listen. So see, guys, people? when I quote for him what his prophet order women to do, he get upset. It's your prophet who said, let your Muslim women get their boobs to be suckled. So why you are saying to me, is that a Christian behavior? Let me ask you the same yeah. question. Is that a prophet behavior to order women to give their boobs to be sucked? I know a lot of Christians, but this is not the question. Like uh, is that a is that a good behavior of a prophet of God who he claimed he I had the same God story. of Musa's? Did Musa's order order his followers to give the, the women to give their boobs to be suckled? Have you read the Talmud? Talmud is the book of the devil. You can go and have have fun with it, the same have as the Quran. I don't care have about the Talmud. It? This is the book of Shaitan. Oh, so you do, you didn't have read it? We we do not care for it. This is the book of Rabbi. It's not a book of of uh, of the Jews. And Old Testament, have you read it? Yes, we did read it. Don't change the topic. Okay. And you are changing the topic you find, now. You find in the Old Testament mm. verses which speak about genocide, about mm. killing infants. Mm. And? Which is worse? Mm. Your verse about Muhammad and uh, the, the woman? You are talking genocide? about somebody, okay, you are talking about somebody saw a vision and dream of killing everybody. <clears throat> That's wonderful. Now, that no, killing donkeys, killing infants, uh, taking the girls. Yes, slaves, yes, it's, a, it's about it's about a vision he saw. No problem. I'm asking you now the same question. Are you condemning killing babies? Yes. Okay. What if I show you that your Quran speak proudly about killing babies? And do you know? Don't turn the, don't change the topic. Do, and do you know? And do you know? You see, you keep jumping like a monkey from a place to a place. You want to talk about killing babies? We talk about killing babies. Are we done yes. with the suckering now? Yes, we are now talking about I'm so proud about your prophet. Okay. I'm so proud about your prophet. I'm going to immigrate to Islamic City to start suckling tomorrow. Actually, I was going to open a drive through suckling business in Las Vegas. And we will hire Muslim women to do it halal. You know, men they drive through and they suckle the boobs of Muslim women because this is halal in Islam. If you want to be adopted by a woman, you can What do adopted this. man? This guy is an adult, yeah. he's a man, he's a man. What adopted? Since when you can adopt uh, adopt a man by suckling his boobs? Yes, yes, this is like so. Are you an, saying to me, uh, with my respect to you, you are you saying I would my respect to you? I'm not, I don't mean to insult here about conversation. I'm saying to you, if your neighbor he suckled your wife boobs, he became her son. Yeah, amazing guys. Did you story, hear it? Yes. Did you hear it? This guy he just said, if his neighbor Abu Muhammad he suckled his wife boobs, he became her son. Yes, can you show me the reference? No, I can't show it because I'm in the bus. No, you know, have, okay, when, when you are going to be home, how long is going to take you to be home? Uh, like 45 minutes. Okay, my friend, give me your address. I want to be your wife's son. Is that okay? I'm not married. Uh -huh. Okay, your, uh, your sister? Yeah, yeah. Your mother, your mother? Yeah, she's already married. Okay, so <laughs> what? You, in Islam, is, you told me this yeah. is about adopting yeah. a man. I want to be adopted. Yes, I want yes. to be adopted by all the women in your town. Is that okay? Can you find me women to to adopt sure, me? Sure, Maybe right. if you come. So to my I'm town, going I to get ready. You. I'm not going to drink for the coming two centuries. And I, oh, each time I get thirsty, I'm going to suckle Muslim women. Is that what you're saying to me? No, you can you can only do it one time. You what do you mean one time? You cannot do it like hundred times. No, no, the, no. The Quran says ten times. Okay, come to my town. I find a woman for you. You can suck. Okay. Okay, no problem, my friend. So you are you are the second vendor of Allah. Yes, yes. Okay, nice I to meet you, my friend. Business. All I right. Don't business. forget to leave your card Great for advice. us, so we can find you a lot of customers. Yes. And don't forget, it says I have to do it ten times until I am satisfied. Sure. Okay. But uh, it was nice uh, talking to you. All right. All right. Take care. Hi. Okay. Hi. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. This guy was so excited. He wanna call me you coward. Blah 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 blah. blah. I mean, when you hear the, when you see their text, you think that those people are really something. Look at this guy, CP liar. <laughs> Potato. Let us see Abdullah. <coughs> Tricks of Christians missionaries. Uh, uh, misquoting Islam. This guy, he is sending me a video. <laughs> Tricks. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Hi, Abdul. How are you?
how are you abdul how's everything is your shake there yeah my shake i'm shake right now this is a shake with me yeah milkshake i'm talking serious now are you shake abdul or not yes i'm milkshake you're what milkshake i'm not joking with you i know you want me to hang up on you it's me it's not the shake okay so i'm asking you just answer like a man don't be silly so now what you are what, what do you want you, you send me a link of uh, christian misquoting the quran is that correct yeah yeah you you, you see it show, show it to all the christians so okay. they can see is, is that a video yes yeah, a video i can't play video. a video sorry they will they will play him uh, copyright over it so what what tell me about this uh, give me an example how the christian misquote when you watch it, you're gonna see it. No, no, you have to tell me. I cannot watch it here. I cannot play it. So you have to tell us now. Tell us what uh, I'm giving you a chance to tell people how people they oh, okay. misquote the Quran. Okay, oh, give me some time. When you when you finish, then let me know. What's uh, what uh, finish? Let me know. So when you so give, you're asking questions. So give me an give example. Me so give me an example. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. So you, what what do you do is right. So. As, you, as we as we Muslims, right? We have Quran and Hadith, right? Mm -hmm. So Quran is Quran is the only div divine revelation from God. Mm. Okay, not, not that, Hadith. That's not true. So see, you you're, you're not letting me talk now. Yeah, is, you never heard of something called Hadith Qudsi? You wanna you wanna you wanna <laughs> you wanna <laughs> let me speak? Or you, you do not know what I'm talking about. Anyway, continue. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. So Hadith, as everyone knows, all the Muslims. Do, and you know we know that you know how these they, they were written in books uh, you know 300 years later after mm -hmm. the demise of rasulullah right mm -hmm. and quran it, it was written by the sahaba it was saved with them so hadith they were memorized by mo most of the sahaba right mm -hmm. most of the companions of rasulullah so the way quran came it was written at that time compiled together because as you know in one one of the battles uh, 70 of the you know who fast the the people who memorized quran they they died so Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, who he may allah, may allah be pleased with him he said to the sahabas that we have to compile the quran at that time right so they got together and they you know compiled the quran together at that time so hadith what not they didn't compile the hadith at that time so the so hadith with with the hadith you know Imam Bukhari, he goes with the hadith like, you know, if if that person that he's getting hadith from, you know, this is this 300 years between them, okay? Mm -hmm. Between the sahabas and the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. and in the time that he's meeting them now. So as he meeting all, all those people at that time, so when he's getting the hadith from them, mm -hmm. you know, so Imam Bukhari, this guy, so what he does mm -hmm. is that he he wants the people to get, to, he he's not going to take hadith from that person who just says, no, uh, I heard hadith from so and so. He he quoted it from so and so, right? Mm. He gave me this hadith from so and so. He will, he will get the hadith from that person that he <coughs> met that person on that day. Okay, so he will get the hadith from that person who met that person in that day. But by Bukhari, he came. Like, that, that person, like you know, who the, those two people who shook the hands, like you know, they saw each other and they but shook friend, their hands. Al Bukhari, he was not. He wasn't there, was he? He was not there. So but how he, he can be hadith, sure? How we can be people. sure? How we can be sure that this hadith is reported from what people say? I can say I heard this from my father, okay. and my father heard it from his father, etc. But there is no proof. If one of us is a liar, the rest of the story is a lie. So how how is that how is okay. that a lie? Secondly, if, sec secondly, your Quran you have today, you don't have the book of Sahaba. This is a big fat lie. You Muslims have zero book. It's called book of Sahaba. You have recitation you know, of a guy you, you claim. You Hold on. You claim. Have you read Hayat al-Sahaba? Yes, I did read it. There's no book. It's called the Book of Sahaba. This is a big fat lie. Where where we can oh, find? Hayat okay, where we can find? Where we can find the oldest Quran? Please, can you show me? The oldest Quran. Mm. That, that's what you have in in our in in front of you. On the no, street. this that's is the, the this Quran. is the recitation of Hafs. <laughs> recitation of Hafs. Yes. Do you want me to show your proof? Okay. Do you so have? The, the do you Quran, have? The, maybe, do you have? You heard do, it, you know, do you have the? Do you, you have the Quran said. in Arabic in front of you? Okay. Do you have the Quran in Arabic in front of you? Yes, I do. Okay, go to page A. Page A of the Quran. Page A. 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 A or A. A A as apple. There is no A page. Over um, here. I don't know what kind of Quran you have, but anyway, here we go. This is the page A. Look with me in the screen. Look with you on the screen, okay. Yes, Riwayat to Hazan Mushaf, and you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse, correct? Yeah, 
Let me see. I'm, I'm getting a, Okay, this is Rabaya Had al Mushaf. Did you mute YouTube? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Do you see it says Kutiba Had al Mushaf, Rabaya to Had al Mushaf, or Mustarahatu Rasmihi? Kutiba Had al Mushaf al Kareem. This is not Quran. This is a Mushaf. This is number one. It is just pages. According to. Let's, let's see what according to mean. Read with me carefully, please. According okay. to Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Yeah, okay. okay. Bin Suleiman Ibn al Magira Al Asadiyu Al Kufi Li Qira Ati Asim. Okay. Okay. So why you are saying to me that you have the book of the Sahaba? You have recitation of Asim, recitation of Hafs, and Hafs was exist more than two hundred fifty years after Muhammad. So you are saying that the Quran was not preserved. That's I am not to... saying it. Is says that in front of you. This is according to recitation, not a book. You don't have a book of how even Hafs, which came more than two hundred years after Muhammad. You don't have his book. And guess what? Do you know who's Hafs? Okay, say say say. Do you, what, what do you know? Do you know book? who's Hafs? Hafs accused by Muslim to be a thief and a fraud. Do you know that? Go 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 ahead. You can go right now. Type in Google. Hafs was a fraud. Hafs was a thief. Hafs was a liar. The, the hadith of Hafs is rejected. Why? Because he's a liar. So how a guy who is accused to be a thief by Muslims, not by me, a guy who create hadith, yadaul hadith. A guy who fabricate hadith, how a guy like this you can carry the Quran from him, and not only that, guess what? He is he himself he learned the Quran from who? From Asim. Do you know who's Asim? Uh, go ahead. I guess you have no idea. Asim is his stepfather. The stepfather of Huff, Huffs is the same as Huffs. Both of them they are a scam and accused okay. by Muslims, all scholars, that they are scammers. So you don't have a Quran, you have a Huffs, a, a scammer <laughs> book. Actually, even even him himself, he don't have his book. You say that this is according to according to according recitation of Hafs, the same Al Bukhari. There's no book Al Bukhari. Until okay. now, Muslim don't have a book of Al Bukhari. Do you know that? We don't have the book of Al Bukhari. No, you don't. The book of Al Bukhari. You have books claiming that this is a copy of the copy of the copy of the Bukhari, but nobody have Al Bukhari and nobody have Sahih Muslim. Nobody. Okay. So your Quran is based in a thief, based on a fraud. He and his father, who came more than two hundred years after Muhammad. So how you how you say to me the Quran was carried by blah blah blah? He said he said the preserved. What preserved? The Quran was written by Uthman. Okay, my friend. Where is the Uthman? Quran, Here we go. Look how many names. Look how many. Look, my friend. There's. Do you have? Okay, you, you just said written by Uthman. Do you have the book of Uthman? This is the book of the Islam. Quran. No, he this wrote, is this Quran. is it says in the front of you. You read Arabic. You claim you read Arabic, right? Riwaya too. Do you see it? Yeah, I see a Riwaya. Okay, so if you have Riwaya to have Sudan, if you have Uthman, listen. This is not the only page that you will judge the whole Quran. This, this is the whole Quran. This is the beginning of the Quran. They are telling you this is according to who? So from the beginning, it says this is according to the Riwaya. Not according to Uthman. If, if you have the book of Uthman, you do not need Hafs. Listen, listen. If you have the book of Uthman, who need Hafs? Nobody. Correct? Okay, go. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. Okay, you, if you have the original, uh, let us say you have my book, Christian Prince, then you do not need to say that somebody, this is according to, according to, according to, according to Christian Prince. We have the book of Christian Prince. Who need the according to? Nobody. But because you don't have any of those books, then you have to go by according to. And this is why we see here, According to Hafs ibn Sulaiman ibn Mughira, according to Asim, according to Abdul Rahman of Abdullah, according to etc., according to, according to, according to, according to the Prophet. So, all this according starting from who? From Hafs, and Hafs is a fraud. <laughs> Hafs is not a fraud. You, 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 okay, the thing is, okay, you, in the front, uh, okay, you, okay, okay, hold on, in no, the front, no, no, the in is, the front listen, of everybody. You are Okay, my friend. Listen, listen. If I so, show you, if I show you your Muslim website saying that Hafs is a fraud, what you would do? Don't you? I listen. I don't follow Muslim websites online. No, no, no. Muslim so, scholars. Muslim we, scholars. Muslim scholars. Muslim websites. Oh, Muslim scholars. Okay, mm -hmm. which scholars are you talking about right now? <laughs> scholars. Uh, uh, all, all kind of names. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> 
Who care? I mean, what kind of a scholar? Who care? Okay, bring, bring uh, Mufti Muhammad Shafi. Who is this guy, Mufti Shafi? We are talking about scholars. What Shafi? Say hi to Shafi. How Shafi? How Shafi is doing? Read, read with me. Read with me. Read with me. All the, those are real scholars, not Shafi. Shafi, not Mr. Shafi. قال عبد الرحمن بن ابي حاتم عن عبد الله عن 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 متروك الحديث وقال عمر عن محمد بن شعيب الصابوني عن حنبل بن اسحاق عن احمد بن حنبل احمد بن حنبل قال عثمان اتس عن عن حنبل بن اسحاق عن احمد بن حنبل they are quoting for you all those kind of names and they are saying what that his hadith is متروك read carefully with me and then he says قال ابو قدام ابو قدامه وعثمان بن سعيد الدرامي عن يحيى بن بن معين ليس بثقة is not trustworthy and وقال علي علي ابن المديني ضعيف الحديث وتركته على عمد he is a person who you know we cannot trust him then he continue وقد فرغ منه الدهر he is a liar وقال البخاري البخاري تركوه all حديث is متروك that's it we throw it وقال مسلم متروك صحيح مسلم وقال النسائي ليس بثقة and Nisa'i, he said, is not trustworthy. And then he says, وَقَلَا فِي مَوْضَعَ آخَرَ مَتْرُوكَ وَقَالَ صَالِحُ بْنُ مُحَمَّدِ الْبَغْدَادِ لَا يَكْتُبُ حَدِيثَهُ وَأَحِيثَهُ كُلَّهَا مَنَاكِيرَ all, all of it is a lie. All of it. And then, let us continue. Let us, let us quote more. Hold on, hold on. We are, we are not done. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. وقال أبو أحمد بن عدي عن الساجي عن أحمد بن محمد البغدادي عن, ي, عن يحيى بن معين كان حفص بن سليمان وأبو بكر بن عياش من أعلم الناس بقراءة عاصم وكان إتسطر وكان كذابا. Do you see it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so right. you must have saying he's a liar, he's a fraud, and let me show you more. This is not only we are not done. I just search in Google, just like a random search, and we we got there's tons of of uh, 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 of reference speaking about how stupid this man is. Read with me. Holy, look, look at this uh, reference. This yeah, is from Al-Bukhari Al-Tariq Al-Kabir, variant number two. Uh, uh, Al-Bukhari Al-Tariq Al-Sagir, variant number two, page number 233. Sakatu anhu wa munkaru al-hadith. Read with me carefully. This yeah, is Al-Bukhari yeah. Al-Du'afa Al-Sagir, raqamu al-Sahha 35. This is your Muslim website, not my website. I'm just reading what, what they have there. Hafs ibn Sulaiman ibn al-Asadi Abu Umar an alqama an 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 wa qala Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Ahmad ibn Hanbal, you know who's that, right? This is not a joke. Yeah. Okay. He said, قال يحيى أخبرني شعبة قال أخذ مني حفص بن سليمان كتابا فلم يرده قال وكان يأخذ الكتب الناس فينسخها he is a thief he copied the the books of people and he 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 write it and he says this is my book. Listen listen listen. الألباني 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 ضعيف سنن الترمذي he says read carefully and you know ضعيف جدا all what he what he says he is a you know he says where you ضعيف الحديث. الألباني all of those references in the front of you. So, سمعت أبي يقول حفص بن سليمان يعني أبو عمر القارئ متروك الحديث. His hadith is thrown in the garbage. Why? Because he's a liar. Read continue. All of this is your Islamic website, Islamic your reference. So you are taking the Quran from a thief, literally accused to be a thief. So we're how? We're not taking it from him. We we took it from Osman al My friend, okay. we are talking about uh, no. We are talking about the Quran you have today. You have it from Hafs. So the Quran that we have today is from Osman al No, it's you are. You don't. You, you don't have the book of Osman. Okay. You have what is what what Hafs recite to you. <laughs> Hafs recited to us. It's it's Muslim recited to the Sahaba and the Sahaba. Do you have the book? No, like you have no. This is according. Al -Quran. Al -Quran. I showed you the image. This is according to the recitation of Hafs, and not only that not only uh, Hafs is a thief even you, you Asim know Hajaj, Hajaj bin Yusuf right uh, come on you come know? on just go go let us almost them trying to call me let's see this other guy he's dying to call me <coughs> hold on hold on hold on let us let me see this Abdul he's trying to call answer Abdul Yes, Abdul. Hello. Mute YouTube. Are you a Muslim? Are you a yes. Muslim? Okay, what do you say when I say to us about our topic? Um, I, I had a question for you. 
Do you have a question? Yes. Sound very interesting. I have an answer. Oh, you do? Yes. Are you? Did you take hashish today? Mm, maybe. Okay. Well, you not need to take hashish, my friend. Just read Quran. Uh, can we just? Okay. Wait. Just go. I have no time for kids. Next. Who is next? Hmm? So all the Quran they have today, they have it from a scam, a fraud, a thief, a liar. They don't have Quran. We have Ibrahim. Let us see what this guy want to say. Hey, I am an ex-Muslim and I want to explain the reason to my friends why I left. Okay. No problem. We'll give you a time to talk. Let us say this, Abdul, again. Hello? Hello. Yes, Abdul. So when you are going to call your sheikh to call me again, he promised me he promised me he will answer my questions until now we are waiting. Do you think it's time to call him? Bro, Christian Prince, that was me. I was not my sheikh. If you listen to the voice, that was me. I was faking it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Mm. 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 <laughs> that was me, okay? I was no, faking No, 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 no. It is, it is, it is him. Why? That was Wallahi, that was me. No, Wallahi, you Wallahi, me? yeah, Wallahi. You, you want to yeah, change my voice? You are ashamed of your sheikh now? Yeah. How are you doing, brother? Mm, mm. As everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know. Well, you know. Everything. But if even if you do that, even if you did that as you claim, that's mean you Muslims are a bunch of liars. <laughs> we're we're not liars, bro. The thing yeah, is, listen, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. You know, you say you are. No, no. Listen. No, we can. No, it is your shake, and you can try. You can, you can, you can try to do better. And now, <laughs> when he is going to call me back? That was me. I, I called you. Uh, okay. No problem. Yeah, you're ashamed of your shake. This is the whole story. People, they can go listen to the voice there and the voice here. They will notice that this is not your voice. Stop lying. But because their shake was humiliated, trying to save his ass and his reputation. Hmm? Who's next? Who have the courage and the knowledge to debate a Christian prince? We are live on air. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. Let us see here. Any Abdul? As you see, Islam is a very stupid cult. It's very easy to destroy. The problem is, if you don't have knowledge, they can play games with you. And the other problem is that Islam is based on the Arabic language. And because most of you don't speak Arabic, so they try to fool you. But it doesn't work. Always there is people who speak the language and they are willing to get them busted. So, who is a Muslim would like to call me? You can bring me your sheikh. Bring me your zakir naik. Bring me whoever you wish. None of you can answer any question. 
even your questions itself is a disaster to Islam Christian friends do you love Muslims my friend we love all people this is why we have a duty to save them as a Christians not only Muslims Muslims Hindus atheists everybody the Messiah he says love your enemy so we don't hate the Muslims we will never hate them this is not you see when you reject false cult it doesn't mean you hate those people you hate the lies you know people they come with all right so do we have any Muslim would like to call <clears throat> Uh, okay. We will take temporarily a call from non Muslims. Let us see. Any Abdul? May they, may they. Hello? Uh, hello? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I, uh, it's embarrassing because I'm French and my English is not really good. Don't so. worry, I speak French very well. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Uh, bah, en fait, voilà, je me demande... uh, sorry, this is the only word I know in French, so we have to switch to English now. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, I, and I was wondering why uh, Solomon had special powers in the Quran. The, uh, I know, I, I can't understand, uh, well... Um, uh, Muhammad give him himself special powers because he is a prophet and he wants to give himself special powers. But, but why give someone else special powers? Was he a fan of? Uh... No, the reason ah. the reason is Muhammad he was living between the Jews, and the Jews okay. they have a lot of fiction stories about their previous kings. Okay. And Muhammad he liked those stories and always he had to fill up his book he had to put something in his book so he he heard those stories from the Jews simply he thought that those are true stories as long as the Jews believe in them so they must be true so suddenly we have a book it's called the uh, Quran have a flying carpet have a guy who is a king he have a chicken who work in his army he have a genie who built for him palaces he have a ring and he have a and the, and the shaitan to take the ring from his wife when he go to the bathroom and then he have sex with all the wives and the wives did notice that shaitan now is doing better a lot in boom boom so this is how they notice that this can't be Suleiman. so muhammad is an idiot of the village he take whatever people see around him and he claim that this is coming from his god all right it's not about his okay. fan he is he needs to put something in his book he's, he have a book it's empty i have to make a book the christian have a book the jews have a book everybody have a book I need to put there something. So let us go. Okay, Suleiman, they say Suleiman have a flying carpet. Okay, here we go. Suleiman have a flying carpet. Did that answer you? Ah, okay. That, okay. Uh, so uh, I was really wondering because I was wondering if maybe Mohammed was three or four persons, uh, four people. One uh, was a sex addict, one was a fan of Suleiman, mm. and uh, the third one was maybe a woman, uh, which would explain the whole. Uh, Having a eyeliner and dressing in woman clothes, or, or... yeah, he, he <laughs> you know he have a very weird habit. He put <laughs> eyeliner three times a day, and he piss like women, and he dress women clothes, and he claimed that Allah he never sent him Quran unless he dress he, he dress his wife uh, Aisha clothes. So uh, obviously, and he kiss men down down their belly. Now you speak Arabic. There is a book of mine in, in French. Uh, sorry, French. Uh, do, do you do you know about it? Uh, not really well. I uh, I see the books uh, on when you do the intro, but I I never saw it in in the um, bookstore. But may, maybe I didn't really check or where it could be. Uh, but, well, this uh, this book is a translation of my book, and it's written wonderfully by a very professional person. You know, actually, those who. Uh, uh, they did read the book. They told me that uh, the the person who translated the book he did even better job than the author himself in the translation, because the language is really perfect. Um, so I advise you to find to get my book, which is you see in the screen, the Secret du Prophet Arab. All right. Okay. So it's a very it's a wonderful book actually, and now it is in Amazon for a very cheap price. 
you know, Amazon controlling the price, so they put it in a very cheap price. The book deserve a lot more price. I don't know why they put it down. Uh, but tell your friends about it and let them read and learn. It's a it's a treasure of information. Right. Oh, okay, well, in my family, well, they are, they are atheists, well, non-religious. My uh, my father never to, uh, taught us any religion. He, he left us to choose. Well, uh, and I have no idea what religion to choose, uh, uh, apart from Islam, because well, from what you say, it's uh, fake and sexist. So, and I am a woman, so I don't. I have no reason to want to convert to that. No, I, I'm not saying to you. If you read my, if you read my books, nobody will convert to that anyway. If you read my books, you will you will run away from this religion. So this is not the purpose of my book. Uh, my book here give you a lot of reference and arm you with a lot of knowledge in case you want to debate somebody, you want to teach somebody, uh, you want to show something you yourself hard for you to prove it. So it's 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 uh, it's good to have a, a handy uh, library because this is a, like a. My books is not really uh, like me stating my own opinion. It's a, it's a, it's like, it's like a Wikipedia of a lot of information and titles, and then I, I explain it in a very simple method. It's not complicated. It's very simple. You know. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for calling, and I hope that you can tell your friends, the French people, about this book so they can read more. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. By the way, if you want to learn, if you want to learn how to speak French, it's very easy. Uh, just add in the front of any word in Arabic in French, but le, like you go to Paris, you say le taxi, the taxi stop. You say le, uh, anyway, like just say le, you know? Yeah. Now, we Arab, we are always, we find our way to learn languages very fast. And now you will see a Zakir Naik did that who don't speak Arabic and I made a video about them They confess that they don't even speak Arabic Yet, yet they want to teach us about Islam Yes, Abdul Assalamu alaikum CP, how are you brother? Hmm, man, it lost It's time to block you Do we have any Muslim? I think I ah this is different person. Sorry, I think I uh, I apologize. I think this is the same guy. Mm, I thought this is the guy who do play games. I apologize. I think I made a mistake. Hold on. You know there is a guy always he call and he make uh, stupid things. Hold on, hold on. I think. All right. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought this is the guy who played games. Sounds like I'm CP. Why'd you block me? <laughs> I, I sorry. I apologize. Really, I thought you are the guy who do you know play games and you know just to make sounds and etc. I apologize. No, no worries. Jabril uh, inspire me, and you know what happened when Jabril inspires somebody. <laughs> mm. Oh my God! Stop. Okay, CP. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Hey, well, I was I heard your show a couple of days ago, and you know I'm I'm a student for you of yours, so I'm trying to trying to learn. But I heard you say something, and uh, I wanted to help you bust this cult more. Okay. Um, so you you were mentioning that Muhammad got a lot of his stories from the Jews, right? Mm -hmm. And this this is I agree with this, mm -hmm. but also like the thing about the stoning, he actually didn't get that from the Jews, and this is going to be so bad because. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Imam Tawhidi. Hmm. He's a he's a Shia. He's trying to change Islam. I was just on a call with him hmm. recently talking about this um, because uh, I have a, a blog where I talk about uh, Islam as well. So I was doing research, and so I was asking him about the stoning. And hmm. I said, "Does this come from the Old Testament, where uh, where Mo the law, the Mosaic law with Moses? Is that where that comes from?" He said, "No. Go to Sa so literally go to sahih-bukhari.com, the official website of Sahih Bukhari. Hmm. Type in monkey." Literally, this this madman got. He saw two monkeys stone each other to death. No, no, this this, this, this Tawhidi is a is an idiot. With my, you know, this Tawhidi is an idiot, because first of really? all, yeah, he's a hypocrite. First of all, the Shia they practiced uh, stoning to death too. No, Secondly, I agree with you, but he's saying that this this comes from uh, a story where the monkeys no, no, killed each other. No, no, no. This, yes, I know the sure? story. I know the story about the monkey. 
and here we go with it for you on the screen but this is not where where Muhammad he learned this from this really tawhidi, this tawhidi is a joke he is he is not a sheikh he is a he is a fraud the same as the rest of them here we go the story in front of you it's about the pre-islamic religion uh, and I have this in my book six and Allah that uh, uh, supposedly there's a monkey was sleeping in the top of the arm of her uh, sorry uh, the her husband mr. Uh, Abdullah was sleeping in the in her shoulder and then another monkey he came from behind the tree and he showed her a banana big banana and then yeah. she got seduced and tempted and she went behind the tree and she have sex with the other guy then when she <laughs> came back she said she put her hand under the are uh, under the head of her husband and then the husband he woke up and he smelled her vagina and he smelled sperm there and he started screaming Allahu Akbar and then the monkeys came and they started and they make a Sharia court and they capture the female monkey and they stone her and the guy he stoned her with them but this is not where the stoning coming from it's coming from the Old Testament really oh my so what do you think about Imam Tawhidi in general as I told you he's an idiot okay so you don't think that he can change Islam he is a Shia, my friend. Shia are people who never to take their words as a trustworthy. You see, the Muslim Sunni they lie, maybe let us say seventy time percent. Okay, yeah. The Shia they lie three hundred percent. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. I guess I I, I do have one more. And question ask, for as you. long as long yeah. you are talking to this guy, ask him why he don't want to come and debate me. Oh, you know what? I should have asked him about that because I, I talked to him about some of the the other uh, Christian Christian scholars. I talked to him about Dr. David Wood. Everyone seems to know Dr. Wood, but uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is about. No, no, videos, they know. No, they know me more than David Wood. When David Wood was even, he was an atheist. I was a fighting Islam. What those guys are talking about? But they tried really? to say I do not know him, so he can avoid accepting the challenge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. know me. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. How do you feel about uh, Nabil Qureshi? Well, he is our brother and he is with the Lord now, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And all of us, yeah. we will die one day. I mean, uh, you see, for sure, for me, I was really uh, unhappy to what happened to him. But I mean, this is normal. People die every day by cancer, by diseases. I might die by cancer too. What a big deal, you know. So, yeah. you know, uh, the, those things, you know, we are living in this earth to die. We are born to die. Jesus, he said, let, let the dead bury the dead. Mm. Let the dead bury the dead. All of us, we are dead. All of us now here, we are dead. So nothing mm. happened. You know, it's about just time. May, may, my time is not here now. You know, maybe tomorrow, maybe next year. That's why. But the yeah. important is how much we accomplish before we die. Mm. Yeah. So how is your uh, Quran translation going? I heard a rumor that you're you're working on one. Yes, it's not a rumor. Jibril told me. Jibril come to me and he squeezed me three times, and he said. <laughs> Uh, translated and I said I cannot translate it and he squeezed me again and he said translated and I, I cannot translate it and he squeezed me third time and he said translated and then I was convinced so I went to my wife Khadija and she Khadija she took me to Waraq ibn Nufal and Waraq ibn Nufal he told me the guy who came to you this guy is called Namus and he squeezed you because you have you became a prophet so now I now I have to carry on in the mission and uh, translate the Quran yeah CP, it's yeah. it's really crazy that with this whole thing about the translation, just because you see with these sheikhs and these imams, they they literally lie in the translation. It's so scary. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the hadith about Muhammad wearing Aisha radiallahu anhu's whose clothes, right? Yes. They this this joker of a sheikh I was speaking to recently. He he thought that he was like the only one that that knows Arabic. He was trying to tell me that the word tob we know in tob in Arabi it's it's a it's clothing. Mm. The, the he was saying that oh, it could mean anything. It could mean a uh, it could mean a the sheet that you put on top of a pool. It could mean like right. oh, this, he's like I'm like brother. Thob is a, a it's a it's a clo it's clothes. Okay, right? but who are you trying? Because it's all these people that don't that are just uh, white English English speaking folks. They they don't know that thob thob is like a, the traditional Islamic outfit they've been wearing for 1400 years. Yeah. So this this joke of a shit. It, that's why your your work with translating is so important because there's so much lies. Yeah. Well, we you know we do our part, and uh, uh, let's pray that uh, the translation will not talk, uh, take too much time, and we will have it there. Huh? Perfect. Yeah. I'm working uh, actually. Uh, th uh, this is uh, I started this a long time ago, more than two years. But I like uh, 
it's like I, uh, because I'm busy in many things, books and life on air and etc. So it's like uh, and I go on and I stop and I go on again. So uh, let us hope in a few months from now. And actually, I'm thinking to take a vacation uh, when I go to Taliban uh, in <laughs> Afghanistan. Take a vacation there because I want to relax. You know, take hashish, cocaine, heroin, it's free there. Uh, everybody, <laughs> everybody is high, and this is the best way to translate the Quran. You know? yeah. you will not have any stress when you translate such a book. You will be high, and because the whole country is high, Taliban is yeah. high, and you are high, and, and Allah is high. Oh, here we go. Actually, right. the Muslims themselves they say that Allah is the most high. And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. And I understand why, because he took too much hashish. Oh my gosh, that's that's insane. CP, how do you feel about this movement of modern Muslims versus extremist Muslims? How do you feel about this? Yeah, this is this is what what do we have moderate Quran? Do we have moderate Muhammad? Do we have moderate Allah? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, no, don't say it. You have to look at the context, brother. Look at the context. Yeah, we have the context. No problem. You have it. I know you showed you said to pick a context. You pick Ibn Kathir's context, you pick Al Jalalin context, you pick uh Maldudi context. Yeah, uh, garbage, garbage and garbage out. They can try, you know. It, it, this is a good step actually for those who they are trying to leave Islam because it shows you the sign of rejection. They are rejecting Islam, so they are trying to reform their belief. They knew that this is Islam. So now what we will do, either we say we left Islam right away. Or which is harmful for us, maybe we get killed, or we say we are going to reform and they got wrong interpretation. So we will be safe, but yet we are not following Allah, we are not following Muhammad no more. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy. Um CP, do you know uh, Sister Hatun with uh, DCCI? Yeah, I saw I saw her videos, yeah. She's a good one. You see, you see the one that she made about uh, in the Salat that they are speaking to Muhammad. I had ne I totally didn't even know that. She, mm. I can't believe she found this, but she's right. Yeah, no, that's absolutely, like absolutely. brother. Anyway, uh, this topic we spoke about it too many times, and it's really for me it became boring. Allah, yeah. he pray. Allah, don't pray. Allah doesn't exist anymore. Anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. Okay, CP, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you too much. I'll let you get back to your, your show. Thank you. And I apologize for, for thinking that you are the guy who plays games. What, did he have the same name? He was Abdullah? No, but, you know, Jibreel suddenly appeared in front of me and he had 600 wings. And he said to me, <laughs> this is the guy. And, you know, Jibreel, always he lied. What I can do? You know? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Okay. So oh. there's a guy. He is Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> yes, my friend. Salam alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. How are you, brother? I'm all right. Yep. Who's I was just uh, calling to just let you know mm -hmm. when I was a uh, um, Christian now I just reverted to became Christian I'm born again Christian all right so you left Islam my friend yes that's wonderful and what happened you want to tell people here what happened basically uh three years ago I had a dream okay sorry I'm just a bit feeling one sec Hello? Yes, I hear you. So three years ago, basically, I had a dream that I had a dream. And in my dream, yeah, Jesus came down. Okay. Jesus came, basically, not came down, but Jesus was sitting down. You know, like in the mosque when everyone sits down when uh, on, the, on the ground and then you got the, like a sheikh giving the dawah. All right. And he sits on the chair. Mm -hmm. So basically, when I went there, Jesus sat on a chair. And every somewhere high, high up here, and everyone sat on the floor. Hallelujah. Everyone sat on the floor. So when I went to sit down, I was told to go to go away, you know, amongst us. All right. So and then after that, like three years later, I met a brother. I met a brother. He's like a Christian brother. He used to always give our leaflets, and I used to always say, "Brother, this is what you're doing is not the truth." And I used to he used to tell me. About Christian things, 
I used to show me testimony. I never used to believe in. I used to doubt in it. And a year later, I saw a brother had a issue in my life and had heart pain. He and the guys, and the Christian guy, he said, "I know a Muslim brother that revert to Christian." And when I went to him, he had a heart severe, severe heart pain, and he prayed for me. A week later, there was no heart pain. And then a week week later, I saw him. Basically, I saw him. I was basically just outside of a young teenager where he was trying for myself. Right. Are you there still? Daddy. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Basically, that's teenager. I was a teenager, so I said to him, you're still young and you shouldn't be outside with me. You might as well just come and we'll just walk around. And then as, as I walk around, I see the brother again. So when he went to the brother, the brother basically, sorry, one second, I was just, the brother basically, the same brother that paid for my heart, my heart pain went away. And then after basically, I saw the same brother. We went, he, he told the guy, he told us about Christian again. So what he did, he prayed for the young boy. As he prayed for the young boy, the young boy, straight away, he had an image of Jesus on the floor. And after that, he said, I believe and everything. But when asked, he said, and the guy said to me, you just saw a friend see him like a witness, a miracle. You're still not going to believe. So I said to Allah, as I was expect, accepting it, I said to Allah, yeah. I said to Allah, Allah, I'm not accepting this. I'm, I'm, I'm accepting this with doubt. I'm not accepting this in my heart. So, and then my heart pain started coming back slowly, slowly. And then the young boy, he said to me, the reason why your heart pain is coming back, is Lord Jesus himself is with me the whole time. He said to you, you accept it with doubt and i was shocked Hallelujah. and i said to myself how did this young boy read my, my my in my head what's in my head i was shocked so i said to the guy you know what i'm gonna accept this with no hesitation no doubt and i accepted it since then my, my i've been freed i know have no stress no depression i had anxiety i wanted to take my own life i didn't know what to, to do to myself and i said to god is this the is there any way out from this and i would never thought there was a way out i thought i'm just the only way out it's for me to take my own life. So I'm I'm re really, really grateful. Um, every time I try to pray, before when I was Muslim, I used to pray bad thoughts always to go to my head, and I never used to want to pray. But now since I become Christian, I pray with no bad thoughts coming to my head. My head is clear. Every time I pray, when I became Christian, I had, the whole time my head was just feeling like uh, tingles. like tingles. My head, it tingled. The guy, when I accept the Lord Jesus, even before I accept the Lord Jesus, I start feeling tingling in my head. I think, what is this thing in my like a like a tense in my head? And it was a good feeling. Oh, everywhere my, my body and my head was just feeling tense the whole time. And he said, This is Lord Jesus. He said to me, the guy said to me, the reason why you're is touching the whole time, you must have been a good person. You've done good things in your life. But the demons that were inside me were taking over me. And he cast out the demons. Since the demons came out. My life just be freed. I coughed out like 25 times. And the guy that prayed for me, the guy that cast out the demons, didn't see the demons. But the young boy that was there, he saw all the demons. He's, he was looking down the whole time. Because I didn't That's just, right. I trusted the boy because the boy I just met him that day. Muslim, so he was a Muslim as well. And then after, I said, to, the, the guy said, how did the demons look like? He said, 25 demons, some with horns, some, some are red, some are black, and some with horns. So they went down in, like, in a black hole. So I was shocked. And since then, my life has just been freed. And I'm so grateful every time I pray Jesus. to Lord Jesus that well, my saved my I'm life. Ha I'm happy for you. Sure. And, uh, um, uh, um, uh, you know, we pray that you you will continue yeah. with your faith and uh, yeah. you will bring more Muslims out of Islam and you you yeah. bring them to Christ. You know, it help. Uh, now it's your yeah. duty to bring more people yeah. who they are lost, the same as uh, all of no, us I who got, used to be I lost got, one day. Yeah. The guy that prayed for me and we're just like we're good we're, yeah, we're good brothers we're best friends now we like and he's an ex-muslim so we never had my whole entire life i never had a friend like this guy i never thought i'll have a friend i always wanted a good friend but i never had a, always i had thought i had a, I had a good friend, friend but right yeah. now jesus is my best friend and he's, he set me free in my life because i never thought there was a way out i thought the only way out is to, to take my own life and i was too afraid to do that Sorry, because i had a child I had a child and i had a wife and I was too afraid to take my own life 
All right. Well, I'm, you know, that's that's wonderful. Always wonderful experience to hear from those who live. So glad. I'm so glad. You don't understand how much glad I am and how much I appreciate what happened. You never believed before, did you? Before I never used to believe. Now that I believe, I'm so appreciative life. Before I used to say, why God? Before I used to say to myself, why God like put me in this life and my life is just getting messed up. But since I found Jesus, I find no peace in Islam before. Yeah. Well, I understand that. Yeah. Happy for you, my friend, and you know, uh, uh, thanks for your friends who just, invited you to call. Yeah, yeah. I wanna ask this question. This I was gonna ask you a question, but to be honest with you, right now I'm doing my own study. Like I listen to your lectures a lot. Okay. I listen to other things. Yeah, I listen to mostly mainly your lectures a lot. Okay, go ahead. And you're doing a great work, my brother. Thank you. So, what the question? The, no, to be honest with you, I don't have any question. Do, oh, okay. do you have any question, my brother? One second, let me ask my brother if he's got any question. No, no, just say to just say the question was um is G, we, we was talking to another Muslim today, yeah? Yeah. And we were trying to show him that in the Quran and the hadith it says that um hi hi C B, how are you brother? Hey my friend. God bless you, brother. Um, I spoke to you a while back. Um maybe you don't remember you've got millions of people on your um Skype. That's but right. yeah, this brother, um basically he got saved, everything just worked. Miracles, literally he was he was healed by miracles by Jesus. Um, he's evangelizing now, he's spreading the word in London, and he was really hard hearted for a whole year. He wouldn't listen to one of my brothers, but now he's saved, thank God. And also, we was trying to uh, this is what I want I want to ask you a question. Basically, in the Quran and Hadith, it mentions that Jesus will judge mankind, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm trying to tell this Muslim brother if there's going to be one judge and God is a judge, you know. I'm trying to explain to him, like, what way, what verses can I use? Like, what Quran passages to get a pen quickly? What, um, CP, please, um, what uh, Quran chapter and verse can we use? And what hadith would be really helpful to get this point across over to him? Please. Okay, well, here, you know, uh, we will find you from the Quran, from the hadith, sorry. Yeah. That uh, where it says that Isa will come down. Uh, let us see here in the, in the yeah, hadith. Yeah, actually, right. In the hadith, it says, and actually, there's a hadith that says, uh, which means the spirit of Allah, He will come down. And yeah, uh, okay, let's see here first. Let's show some reference. Alright. And this is gonna be found in Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. And Sahih Muslim too. As an example of Sahih Bukhari, Allah okay. Apostle said, By him in whose hands my soul is, the son of Mary, which means Jesus, will shortly, and this is so showing that Muhammad is a false liar again because he says shortly, descend among you. Uh, uh, the people as just a ruler, you know, and he will break yeah, the cross. That's exact, yeah, yeah, and he will break the cross. Let me show you the reference here. So he will come as a just ruler, and you cannot be a just. He will just all. He will be just to all mankind. That he will rule all mankind, not only a group of people. All right. And exactly. He will be ruling all the earth, and he will be just a ruler. And how a human being can be just ruler? Only justice. The absolute just can be only for God. So this is Sahih, right. Bukh Sahih Bukhari, hadith number two, 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 two. So Sahih Bukhari number two, 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 two. four, two. Thank you. Okay. And is there is there any Quran that I could use to back this up as well? Uh, you know, uh, like uh, Quran did not mention that clearly, but the Quran uh, mentioned that how the Messiah had been taken to heaven. Uh, you know the Quran is a is a book of summaries. There's not the Quran is a yeah. stupid book. It's not. It doesn't book. make sense, CP. It don't make sense. Yeah, th no, the Quran never meant to be a book of religion. It was a summary of other religions, supposedly. You know, so this is why exactly. you you will not find any connection between verses or even uh, chapters. You know, it's but, muddled up. It's like a book of just muddled up f uh, stories from different tribes and. You know different cultures and religions it's just it's unbelievable cp it's just literally unbelievable and you know like we need more people out there like you just spreading the word i lost your friend um,
we just we just thank God that Lord sent a servant like you to serve him, you know? Yeah. And then we can learn from your videos and, and spread out because I don't think there's anyone in history that's actually sat down and researched the Quran that deeply with hadith to help people come out of bondage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, there is there is people actually they did a great work before, but you know the uh like I I saw uh, but we don't they don't have books, but I I know like I there's a debate once between a Christian person who used to work even for the caliphate, uh, a mm -hmm. big sheikh, he sent him a, a letter asking him to convert to Islam. And the answer was amazing. So Christians always, they knew Islam is a false religion, especially those who they are deeply in knowledge and they have a very strong uh, education. Uh, but the problem is, before who dare to say, I mean, you live in the Middle East, can you say, if I live now in me, myself, in the year 2019, yeah. if I am there, can I say a word? No, I cannot. That's it. You know? Nothing. Yeah. So the, what happened today is a revolution of the internet, and which they cannot stop before they can kill you if you say something. And now we can communicate yeah. with people who live in Indonesia, in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, wherever they are. Yet yeah. I'm sitting in my home and they cannot do nothing about it. You know? That's right. That's only, right. Because even difference. even even the Bible mentions about in the last days information will be sent to and fro more fast, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and that's just a confirmation of the internet and information getting sent. Well, you know, um, I internet, mean, I, never been, internet yeah. is, is a good tool and bad tool at the same time. The same as we use it to leave, make Muslims cool. leave Islam, the same as Muslims they use it to make to, to deceive people. As, as an example, yesterday, uh, I saw a Muslim post in a link. Uh, about uh, how to slaughter a sheep and the sheep the second you say Allah to her the sheep here she relax and you can slaughter her and Supposedly this is a fake video. It, it was a, made by a guy who is teaching you the tactique how to slaughter a sheep Without making the sheep panic and there's many videos like this have nothing to do with Allah But the Muslims they do anything they can in order to fabricate and to make you believe in something It's a tactique how to hold the sheep how to lay it down and the yeah. sheep will relax as simple as that so the muslims they, because they are bankrupt they try anything but the second you discuss with them about the stupid religion they have they have no answers so what they have they fabricate a video how the cat move over the quran how the cat avoid the quran you know <laughs> she don't step in the quran, <laughs> you know? so, uh, listen listen do you know what it's the irony of it is so funny is that my friend was saying that to me the other day. He said, I watched the video and the cat didn't sit on the car. I said, they didn't want to sit on the ground because he was scared of it. It's all darkness. No, no, they just, they, they, so do, they do editing. The, 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 the cat doesn't care if it's a Bible or it's a Quran yeah, or anything. Yes. It's a cat. Yeah, it's I mean, this is stupid. It's, it. no, it's just too much superstition. It's, you know what's funny as well? All the evidence every day, when, you know, most days when I go out and evangelize and I talk to Muslims and I give them all of these contradictions that I find from your videos and other sources. But many of your videos is like they have no answer they keep bringing up excuses and i say to them but look what your translators are saying is i said who do you want me to believe the the, the hadith or or your translation do you know what i mean and it's just like that that, that hardness in their heart it just needs I mean, the lord needs to loosen their heart open their heart soften their heart for them to come and get saved and come and enter into eternal life because if the, muslims if you understood what jesus is if you understood the holy spirit the father you it would change your life muslims right now you're in bondage you're sitting there scared because allah said he's going to take all of you to hell yeah and you're sitting there scared right now and you're watching cp because you know that you're loving it right you're loving it you're taking it in but you're just being rebellious but really in their heart they want what christians have got they want that peace you know and look cp i'm not going to take your time any longer i know you're there's probably there's um some abdul's on a um want to want to call you um did you want to say something quickly before i leave cp yes yeah. yeah, sorry cp one second hello cp again yes i'm a friend go ahead my, the reason why i made this call is because I'm, I've always been, even when I was a Muslim, I've always been someone like who's caring for people. And when I always want people, people like some to, for them to have something better than me, like always like want some people to be saved. But now that the reason why I'm called is I want many Muslims to be saved. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 happy that's you know that's will be your uh, yeah. uh, your. I was your, just, uh, I'm, I'm just a bit nervous mission. earlier. I don't know why, but now yeah, I've sat down. It's all right, my friend. Well, thank you for calling me and feel free to call me again. 
No problem. Bye-bye. Thanks, CP. Take care, buddy. Shalom alaikum. Bye-bye. You see, when the Muslims they say a cat cannot walk over the Quran, and then we check online and we find that they found thousands and thousands of Quran every day, and every every year when they clean the sewage. This is the sewage in Saudi Arabia. This is what people define in the sewage, Quran. You see it? In the sewage, thousands of Quran. They are blocking the sewage. So the cat cannot walk over the Quran. Why? Because Allah protects the Quran. But Allah looks like he is not able to stop the Quran from going in the sewage. They fabricate videos they, they just to make you believe in something is not exist that Quran is protected it's a book of God uh, I, I, I know that would be silly if somebody is a Christian he says that the cat or the dog will not step in the Bible I mean why not it's a dog you might can step on it <laughs> what I mean it's they are they are silly they are like a bunch of kids trying to find something to prove to themselves to themselves first that we are people who follow the right belief but the fact there's no proof they have and as you see each time we talk to Muslims what they come with they don't know what they are talking about or what they know that the kuffar are the devil America is Satan Israel is Satan France is Satan big Satan small Satan England is Satan the, the Christians are Satan the, the Hindus are Satan, the Buddhas are Satan, everybody is Satan except us Muslims, we are the good ones. We are the people of God, the rest are Satanic. Yeah, but women in their countries have to cover herself from the top to the toes, otherwise she will be molested and kidnapped. A woman in her country, actually this is in Iran, but in Saudi Arabia, if a woman, she walk alone, she will be kidnapped. This is what Islam made out of you. If Islam is, a good, is, is making good of you, why a woman should go on the street alone she is in risk why where is the good Muslims why a Muslim woman she go in the bus everybody will touch her and molest her the women she go in the bus she is not a Britain she go out of the bus she is a Britain already and she have nine months in her in her stomach in her in her belly so what what we would talk about always people who try to present to us hypocrisy and hypocrisy is our flag America is the devil but everybody want to go to America if we say right now to Muslims in Indonesia or Afghanistan or Pakistan, okay, we have everybody is welcome to Australia to America. Nobody will stay in there. All of them they will go to, to the to the Shaitan country. This is the truth. Stupidity and hypocrisy. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? <coughs> Do we have any Abdul? And by the way, uh, even there is Arab who they are not even Muslims, they are hypocrite too. Me myself, I stopped like I used to go before with some Arab guys, like in my, in my age. We go out, you know, but I stopped to go on with them. You sit with Arab, uh, even they are Arab Christians, you know, eh, America, you know. Our country back there is better. Mm. So I could not take it no more. I said, all of you are a bunch of idiot liars. If you don't like this country, why you are you staying here? Take your passport and get lost. Hypocrites. The first thing I notice about my people, that hypocrisy is the life of a style of, of life, not only Muslims. They are so proud, but proud about what? I don't know. If America is bad for you, if England is bad for you, if France is bad for you, why you are here? I mean, who is forcing you? Take an airplane and go. Just go. Brother, this is a bad land. <laughs> you know, just go. Who is holding you? Hypocrites, you don't love America. Go, how are you, Mr. Uh, Christian Trinity? Uh, do we have any Muslim here? 
אני מושלם? They keep complaining about this country, complaining about Europe, complaining. Go back to your home, my friend. Go to back to go to back to Afghanistan. I mean, why you leave the luxury of your country? Please. What this guy he wants? Let us see. This is in the street in Tehran. If you go to Tehran, their favorite uh, food is American food. Their favorite movies is American movies. Their favorite music, favorite, I mean, everything is their favorite is American. Yet in the wars, you will see America the big devil. <laughs> if you go to any American embassy in the Middle East, you will see the line is like, is like forever to go inside the embassy. You have to take an, an appointment like three months in advance to get an appointment to apply for a visa. Yet America is the land of the devil, brother. Disgusting America. It's a big shaitan, brother. If you ask the Palestinian who call themselves Palestinian, where you do, where you like to live in Israel or in Gaza? They wish to live in in, in Israel. All the Muslims who live in the in the Palestinian territory, they wish they are Israeli citizen like the rest. They dream about it. But the Jews are evil, right? Any Abdul? Hello? All right. Somebody is asking if he can translate my book to Spanish. We will see if we can do that. You see, many people, they promised they will translate my book to Spanish, but I noticed that people, they say things, but they never do. You know what I mean? I have somebody promised to translate to, to Russian, uh, Spanish. It looked like the Spanish translation is, uh, is a, a mission impossible. Nobody want to do it. Somebody saying to me, you did not mention that the Prophet forbid the muta. My friend, the Prophet forbid the muta. The Prophet approved the muta. It's a proof that Muhammad is a muta guy. Who cares if he, you know, same time how Muhammad forbid the muta, yet there's a hadith says we did muta after Muhammad. Secondly, how Muhammad forbid the muta if Allah says you do muta? You know what I mean? And what kind of a prophet anyway? He allow muta for even a second. Anyone? Any Muslim? Any Abdul? Why do you call Muslim Abdul? Because Muslim Muslim is Abdullah. Abdullah means a slave of Allah, and specifically he is a black slave. So a Muslim, in order to humble himself, he call himself Abd. Abd is not just a word mean slave. It's mean black slave. So a Muslim allow himself to call himself such a name which means he is humiliating himself as a abd for Allah. So he is a Abdul. 
All right. If you go in the Quran, Abid simply is equal to the word in, in English, uh, 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 Negro or black, black. But in Arabic, it's always associated with slavery. Yes, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us? I was going to say that uh, I have this one question for you, right? You said that you're not racist, right? No, I am not. I will never be racist. You are a racist. You are a Mohammedan, don't you? No, no. Didn't you, didn't you say that you're not racist, right? I will never be racist, sure. Okay. So, can I curse your... Can, I, can a person come and curse your mom? What are you going to say? Your mom or dad, your family? So, what, what, what does have to be with racist? <clears throat> no, what, what are you going to say? Curse on, go ahead. Huh? Curse them. G Jesus said that. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, if a person who comes try to try to say you know their your your father your you know that those are the, those are the people that you love hmm. and you talk against them you know i talk against them okay what's gonna happen nothing who cares if you curse them or not curse yeah. them as much as you yes, yeah why so curse them go ahead you can do that i can do it hmm. that means that you're not you're not a real son then i am not what then you're not a real son of your parents then if oh really? Alone, Why? You Why? You know, uh, God will punish, will punish you for for what you do. Why I want to be angry from you anyway? I feel sorry for you. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying. Like you, you said that you're let not me, racist. Let me ask you. Let you're, me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay. Let me ask you. People, if somebody, okay, I, I will ask you the same question. If somebody says to you, "Go and suck the penis of your father," what you will do? See, your questions are always in penis and vaginas, you know? Okay, so your is that is that, bad? Is that is that bad? Is it okay? Is it bad? If somebody, I'm asking you a serious question, you ask me the same question, I answer you. If somebody says to you, go and buy the penis of your father, what do you do? See, I'm, I'm, the way I'm asking you a question and the way you're asking you a question. What's wrong, with the, what's wrong with the way I'm asking? Are you saying this is dirty, filthy? Because you're you're going really filthy. I'm just okay, saying so, that. So you just you, say you okay. You just you just say you just say them. you just say that your prophet is filthy because the one who said that is your prophet. Uh, again, you, you try to attack. Uh, attack See, the you are trying to avoid now. You are the one. A second ago, you said this is really filthy, guys. Did he say that? If I show no, you no, right I'm, now, you, if, I show you, if I show you, if I show you, if I show you that the one who said that going, is your prophet, you're going against if, a prophet if I show you, one, if I show you that your prophet is the one, his teachings, right? uh, listen, you are a coward now. You don't. You are trying to change the topic. I told you what what you will happen. I told you what will happen if you insult my parents. I told you now. If Muhammad and you are the one who said to me this is really filthy. What kind of a prophet he said to a person go and suck the penis of your father? I said you are filthy. I said you are filthy. Okay, I didn't uh, say my prophet. no, you said that you are saying you are going really filthy by because I quote what your prophet said. But you cannot quote what my prophet said. You who are you to quote? Why not? Why your prophet he says such a thing? What kind of a prophet he say go you, go and buy the you penis of your father? Out. Go and buy the penis of your father. What kind of a prophet he would say that? See again, again with your filthy, filthy tongue. You don't want to answer, right? What kind of a prophet he say to you, go and buy the penis of your father? Talk, talk about the beliefs don't don't talk about this is the belief you, this is the belief Muhammad is teaching you a belief that's, if somebody belief. if somebody is a proud about his parents are you you are saying to me if you don't defend your parents you are a bad person now your prophet is saying to you that if somebody he is a proud about his family uh, uh, from the pre-islamic era go to him and tell him go and bite the penis if you father and look at the Muslim again Pre-Islamic and, Islamic and look Pre and look at the the false Muslim translation. They says my father bite him. What bite him? It doesn't say that in Arabic. Liars. It says I do who be hini abi bite him. If I do go and tell him go and bite the penis of your father. So what kind what kind of a prophet he We're say? Talking, listen, don't mix pre-Islamic era with Islamic era. Okay? This is your prophet saying to, that. This is your no, prophet no, saying no, that. What what pre-Islamic era? You're a prophet era, saying. You're a prophet saying. If somebody he is proud about his family, 
go so and tell him, tell him, tell him, I'm asking you why, what kind of a prophet, what kind of a filthy prophet he said to a man, tell a person who is proud about his family, go and to bite and suck the penis of his father. What about sucking the clitoris of your mother? What do you say about your prophet saying that? Again, your filthy mouth, I, I'm telling you. You see, you the filthy use... mouth is your prophet and you are running away from answering. I'm not, I'm, listen, I... It's you not me who said that. Why are you are saying to me I am filthy? Acting. Look how hypocrite you are. I am not the one who I'm said. Not a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. What the thing you, is, you're a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite because it is not me who said that. It's your prophet. I show, I, I'm showing you the hate in front of you in Arabic, and you speak Arabic. What kind of a prophet he say to any Muslim man, go and suck the penis of your father? You said, you said it's a pre-Islamic era. It's not... It's no, Islamic no, era. this is Muhammad when he is a prophet. He is saying if somebody is a proud about his people in the Jahiliyyah, this is the time of Muhammad. He's a prophet now teaching the Muslim what to say to those who don't, they are proud about their family. Saying to them, if he says that, tell him to go and suck and bite the penis of his father. Okay. Answer. Where, where are you getting this information from? First? It's in the front of you. Okay, now where are you getting it from? Teeth. Life hadith. So why are you reading <laughs> life hadith in front of you? What if it's a strong hadith? What you will do? I'll not do anything. Why are you reading? Okay, so is it sahih or daif? This one, it's daif. What we will do now is if it's daif. You don't, you don't accept it. Because that means it shows that you're a hypocrite. You're trying to uh, change people, people, people mindset. You know why? Because right it's daif. Because it's you're, daif. you're trying to because trying to read because it's daif. Ah, oh, so so now you are saying because daif, I'm lying now, huh? It's not lying. I'm saying hmm. you're you're a hypocrite. You're trying to change people minds okay i have a surprise for you it is sahih okay mm. now what you, what you will say what i will say i'll say nothing uh, shut up then what you are saying to me I, you know all, all, always muslims are a bunch of idiot like here we go i just read the hadith for you and then you made me a hypocrite because i'm quoting a hadith and you call it weak the second i show you it is sahih now you have weak. nothing to say okay no you I call me a hypocrite not. You stop, call me hypocrite playing games. Here we go. This is Sahih Hadith. Now, why your prophet say to the people, go and buy the penis of your father? Again, again with your filthy language. See, get lost. The filthy language Ooh. is the filthy language of your prophet, not mine. I'm just reading what your prophet said. And look at this false translation. It says, go and bite him. Your prophet says, if somebody is proud about his parents, go and bite him. Why? What kind of a stupid translation this translation is? Why you don't say bite what? Bite him. But oh. I mean, look at this translation. Bite him. Where it says that? It says bite the penis of your father. I do. In different hadith, Muhammad he says, abik. Suck. The D, I'm not going to say the word, we will use the word penis. But Muhammad, he used the D word. <laughs> I mean, this is a prophet of God. This is the one you Muslim, you say to us, he is the best of mankind. Bite the penis of your father. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? And imagine when you quote for them what their prophet said, they accused you to be, you are the bad person, you are the filthy one. Have you ever heard of filthy cult like this? My friend, how dare you even to talk to me? I am a Christian prince. Hello? Mm, yes. Yes, my so, yes. in the in the Sunnah you just read, yeah? Mm. The one about uh, biting uh, whatever, yeah? Mm. Does it not? Does it not? Uh, is the prophet doing? Is the the prophet is doing the opposite? He is saying, "Do not uh, greet. Do not do this to people the way people used to do in the Jahiliyyah." Where where it says do that? It says, "Go and bite the penis of your father." Where it says, "Don't do the same way." It what says, are you talking about? Where it says that? 
the prophet said if someone consoles people in the way people consult each other in mm. the days of the jahiliya mm. then, then bite, bite him, him mm. bite, and bite, do bite. Not. when bite him where it says bite him it doesn't say that it says i do the translator is an idiot liar it says i do which means tell him go and bite the penis of your father I am using sunnah.com. I same don't care what you are using. This is false translation. Here we go. The Arabic in the front of me. The word I do, which to can know, which means tell him go and buy the penis of your father. Do you speak Arabic? No, no. Okay. Do you know somebody speak Arabic around you? Uh, no, not now. No. Okay. Can you get me one? Read, read with me. abik abik. I farjihi. So the word added mean, and he says added alahini abik, the penis of your father. All right. So don't tell me he is saying to them, don't say that and do that. And this is your Islamic scholars, they are explaining this. And the same time, he says, in different hadith, he says, suck the penis of your father. So what kind of a prophet he is such a thing, so, you know, say such a thing? What do you say? You see all of those reference look yeah, all yes, of those it's references. Weird, yeah. mm. so don't tell me that this is uh, telling them not to do yes he is telling them not to be proud about their penis before but obviously you know uh, this is you know this is what your Muslim teach this is your Islamic website Islam with Jawab this is official this is fatwa number one two one eight two three the guy is saying how the Prophet he speaks such a thing he says I do be in the the same as we see in the hadith this is not about bite him this is about go and tell him bite the penis of your father all right and then in different hadith he says uh, uh, uh tell him to bite the penis of your father and literally he said the word in arabic air which is simply the word penis i don't want to use the word d as i said because this is what the word is and it says and this is and then he says by the penis of your father and then he says ذلك فقال بهذا أمرنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم this is what the prophet he order us to do all right yes yes hmm. yeah you're right yeah so I yeah have? I just wanted to clear that up okay yes all right thank you very much okay So, you know, people they can say whatever they want, trying to escape the 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 uh, this filthy, trashy cult. I mean, this guy is a prophet of God. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you right away, Christian Prince, he have he speak filthy. Why? Because I'm quoting Muhammad. You quote Muhammad, they say to you, you are filthy. You quote Jesus, nobody says that to you. Uh, you notice always the only way to escape what is in their books is to fabricate translation this is why my books is extremely important you see there's many people they they expose Islam right but still their their exposure is uh, exposure is based in in the translation so like if we go this uh, if we give this hadith to uh, brother Sam Shamu okay based on this what do you understand what bite him it says bite him real correct guys does it say here in the front of you bite him but what this is what what bite him mean why muslims they bite people you know what i mean if you if i give you this hadith now and i say okay this is what it says it says here then bite him how in the world you will understand what really is meant in this what bite him You cannot explain Islam based on Islamic translation because they lie, my friend. This is why now I'm translating the Quran. This is why my videos are extremely important. 
that's why we ask you please download them save them share them around and different not only in YouTube so they will stay there forever for your child and the son of your child one day he want to find what this is mean he can find a video of a Christian prince maybe 200 years from now And the second you quote Muhammad, the accused to be filthy. How long? I don't know. I'm I'm working every day, but you see, the the more I stay doing life on air. Uh, actually, I'm I'm thinking to go away for some time. But the problem, everything is expensive, man. Whatever you want to go, like there's some people invited me and invited me to do a seminar. And last year I was able to finish my book Six on Allah actually because I was I was able to stay in a nice place, uh, very relax, relaxing, disconnected from the whole world. So I was able to finish reading. Uh, uh, this year I could not really go anywhere. Uh, the best way to finish it is not to be disturbed with other things to do. And as long as I do life on air and etc., that's going to take some time. Who is the Muslim God? Even the Muslim God himself, he do not know who is he. <laughs> Cayman Island. Oh, I got a nice invitation. Finally, I get a nice. Usually, I get invitation to Afghanistan. Guys, do you believe it? Come to Cayman Island. You live there? Life? Do you live there? Cayman Island is a very beautiful island. I was I was there once. Uh, Kunya Kunya is the like the the last your last name. That's what Kunya mean. All right. Kunya is the last name. If somebody. Yetakenna, which means he speak about he is proud about his inheritance and Muhammad himself he is proud about his inheritance and all of them they are Jahiliya Muhammad he says I am from Hashem and Hashem is the best of the Arab and I am the best of Hashem and look at the hypocrite he told them not to do that but yet he is doing that I see many people inviting me. Let's see how many of them is real. Uh, text me, text me in Skype. Let's see how, how many real invitation. And by the way, I don't eat much. Like, you know, I eat once one meal a day, but it's a big meal. So you will go bankrupt. All right. <clears throat> and I take a shower once a year. So excuse me. You know, you will leave the house. I will be alone there. All right. <coughs> And the, if the police and the FBI come to your house because you have an Arab in your house, don't blame don't blame it on me. Blame it on the Jews. Okay? I mean, yes, I'm an Arab, but I can do. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, we have to blame somebody. I mean, the Jews are there. I mean, what... Sometimes we play we play in America. We have to blame the Jews. It's the easiest target. Do we have any Abdul? Did you get an invitation from David Wood? No, my friend. Nobody invited me, and I don't think anyone will invite me anyway. We have got Arab in Bosnia too. Yeah, I want to go to Bosnia. I wish I can go to all around. Actually, I love to travel. But to be honest with you, I like it. Um, but you know traveling is costly and uh, you have to be really uh, you have to be careful about where you go and what to do especially with the money Allah is not sending me money what I can do uh, Hindu actually I got invitation from many Hindus in India yeah I, I did I received many invitation Actually, there's many many people I'm really grateful for and they uh, They invite me but the problem is you cannot trust just people who says in the internet come to us and you know because you don't know them 
but I'm sure between those who says that there are there's a lot of wonderful people right by the way can I bring my tribe with me only it's like you know 800 cousins and you know I mean if you allow me to bring the cousin of the cousins that would make us like 80,000 I mean that would be good right Just me and my cousins. <laughs> okay, okay, me alone. Forget about the cousins. You guys are not serious. See, I just told you I will bring eight hundred cousins of cousins of mine. You don't want me no more. I mean, come on. I mean, what kind of generosity you have? Hello. We are big families. You know, once I met, uh, once I met uh, a guy I never met before. So we like we just became like uh, you know a little bit of friends, and he was walking with me, and the guy said hello. He said who's this? I said my cousin, and then other guy said hello. I said who's yours? I said my cousin, and the other one uh, hello. Uh, who's my uh, my cousin? He said what? The whole town is your cousins? I mean how many? A guy in the car driving by hello my cousin, the other guy hey where are you? My cousin. Everybody is my cousin. What I can do? I mean the whole town is my cousin. What I can say to you? You don't like it? Uh, ask Allah. <laughs> <laughs> we are we have nothing to do there is no TV to watch at that time everybody making babies hello so now do we have any Abdul don't you see that Khadija she said to Muhammad my cousin do you remember <laughs> If you if you go in the hadith, you will see Khadija saying, "Let us go there." All right. So Muhammad, when he was squeezed by the angel, he came back, and Khadija she said to him, "Okay." Um, let us see. Yeah, here in the translation doesn't appear. Uh, even even in the like all Islamic books so do we have any Muslim would like to call us are we done for today poor CP big for money I never big money for anyone it's Muhammad who big for money let me show you your God my friend here we go your God he asked for a mortgage do you see me asking for a mortgage not only that, your God claim that the one who give Allah money, Allah will forgive his sin. And this is in many verses in the Quran. Do you see it? Allah is asking for a loan, and he call it a good loan. And if you give Allah a loan, Allah will double your reward and will forgive your sin. Have you ever heard of a God? If you give him money, he forgive your sin? Nice to meet you, my friend. Hmm? This is your God? Please give us a loan. Please give us a loan. Please give us a loan, a loan, a loan, a loan. Why? What happened with Allah? He want to buy a house or what? This is Allah, the Almighty God. Why he's begging for money? And if you give him the money, he give you the honey? If you give me the money, I will give you double the word. And I will send you to heaven. I will forgive you. Do you see it? Reference, this is chapter 64, verse number 17. This is not only in one verse in the Quran. It's all over the Quran. I'm just showing you one example. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam? A person who promised people to go to heaven if you give, them, if you give him a loan? 
Hello. This is God. <laughs> so, do we have any Muslim here? Mimi Hijab, after he had a debate with Wood, he made a video and he was quoting this verse, other verse in the Quran. And he was singing with his ugly voice. Okay, what is that? He was reading this one. He finished the debate. He said to himself, now the Muslims are happy because we made it look like we have victory. So let us ask them for a loan. <laughs> What a scam. You are a Muslim, call me. Or you call me. Why I want to call you? How I can find you? Call me, Nabil. Call me. Ah, I got an invitation to sleep in the sofa. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Why you don't give me the bed, uh, my friend? And you sleep in the sofa. What's wrong? Come on. I mean, guys, guys, I got an invitation to five stars apartment. I sleep in the sofa. I mean, that's very nice of you. Sleep in the sofa. And who sleep in the sofa too? The dog, the cat. What a nice invitation. <clears throat> anyway, do we have any Abdu when I uh, when I call us? I'm just joking with you, my friend. Any Muslim? Let us see this guy. You know, sometimes I feel like a, a homeless, keep saying, any Muslim? Any Muslim? Any loan? Any Abdul? Anyone? <clears throat> Do you know Muslims, how many Muslims leave Islam watching my videos? You will not believe it. You will not believe it. It's beyond imagination. And by the way, some Muslims, they think I have a low view. The fact, I don't. I have my videos spread all over. This is why. Actually, I don't keep even my videos. I don't even keep them in my channel to have a high view. All right? my videos are all over the internet so if you calculate the view in the last 24 hours for all those who post my videos you will see what 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 i were talking about uh so do we have any abdul Hello? 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 Hey, my friend, how are you? Yes, uh, it's, it's me, it's me, Ahmed. Yeah, yes, I remember I'm you, good. Ahmed. You left Islam just two weeks ago in our show, right? Yes, yes. Okay. How was things uh, going? I, I, I just have a question, if, sure. if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I made a little search and found that the Trinity was uh, is is not part of the Bible. So, so how do you believe in something in the Bible? Mm. Do you do you know what the Trinity, Ahmad? Yes, yes, <coughs> I what, know. What is the Trinity? <coughs> the tri the Trinity is mm. that Jesus is uh, is God. Mm. Uh, okay, can can you let us make it simple for you? Okay, I will, I will, I will answer because... you. Okay, uh, you can hang up or you want to stay okay. with me. You want to hang up so you can see in the screen what I will show? Yeah, all right, yes, okay. it, it would be better. All right, you see, yeah. they they lie to you, my friend, and they say that the Trinity is not in the Bible. If you are saying the word Trinity, the word tree, well, the word Tawheed is not exist in the Quran, too. There's nowhere the Quran says the word Tawheed. 
actually Tawheed is additional proof of the Trinity because Tawheed means unifying not about one that's what Tawheed means uh, if you go in the book of Genesis right away from the first verse you will see it says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and the darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water so from the first verse in the, in the Bible we have we have God we have his spirit and then God he said let be their light that is the word of God that is the Trinity so from the first three lines and imagine we are we are answering you from verse number one two three <laughs> is that right guys we just use what from the first three the first three verses in the Bible proving the Trinity the word the Spirit God God the Father from the first three verses in the Bible in the Old Testament you see they say to you that the Jews never teach about the Trinity there's no Trinity it's a lie the God of Islam is not a spirit and this is additional proof that Allah cannot be our God our God has a spirit this is the Holy Spirit the Muslim believe the Holy Spirit is Jibreel is an angel we believe in something different that God himself is in three person God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit well, who's the Son the Son is the Word. that is what let there be light this is why the Bible says that everything was created by him and for him how how is that how this happened let be light and light was everything was created by him the Messiah is the Word of God so when they say to you and for sure we can show you tons and tons of verses this is just in the beginning the first page in the Bible now if we go now in the Quran we can prove the Trinity from the Quran if we go to verse number one this is verse number one if the Trinity is not part of Islam and Muhammad is not trying to copy the Christians where he got the three names to start with in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim Muhammad was copying who God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit if this is nothing to do with the Trinity you tell me why it's three if we ask a Muslim how many the names of Allah they will say to you 99 well isn't it 99 the the, the, the multiply of number 33 which is the age of Jesus in this earth why 99 what about 100 at least 100 would be perfect complete number why is 99 why you start the name of the Quran every verse in the Quran by three why the abolition in Islam will not be accepted unless you do things the act three times you have to blow nose three times wipe your feet your your hands three times perfection in Islam always is based on number three so Islam confirmed that perfection of God is in number three so how Islam oppose or oppose the Trinity but Islam confirm that perfection of being pure is in three times Perfection in the prayer, saying Allah three in the names three times. Perfection in belief. Even the Quran says you pray three times, by the way. The Quran never says pray five. This is later Muhammad, he was copying the Sabia. He took the five time from the Sabia. Let's see. Read with me. Chapter 11, verse number 114. And perform the prayer at the two ends of the day and the approach of the night. That's it. Two ends of the day, which means the morning and the sunset. And then when the night comes, there's a, one more prayer. That's it. 
so everything in the Quran confirmed the Trinity and the Bible confirmed the Trinity and Jesus in the Quran he is the Word of God let us read together the same verse which is rejecting the Trinity is the same verse confirming the Trinity let me finish the explanation my friend don't call me now if we go in the Quran you will see the Quran saying not me again this is not me saying saying that this is the Quran saying that chapter 4 verse 171 O people of the book, go not beyond the bonds on your religion and say not to God, but the, tr the truth. By the way, the translation is false, doesn't say God. I mean, I don't know why this guy, he keep using the word God. I don't know why even I'm stuck with this Arbery thing. Uh, let us see different translation. This is false translation. Okay. See, it's Allah. Anyway, so we have Abdul calling. Yes, Abdul. Mute you. Hello. Please. Mute you too. Yes. Yes. I saw you talking uh, again about Trinity in the Quran. Mm. Yeah. But uh, this is uh, false. Why? Read the verse for uh, me in front of you. Here we go. Read it. No, I'm not reading. Why you don't read it? Read it. Go ahead. Are you in, are you still because, in the bus? Uh, the, are you still in the Jesus, bus? Are you still in no, the no. bus? Okay, because you look like you are in the bus all day. So read it for me. Don't no, tell no, me I'm not, not I'm not on the bus. Okay, read I'm it. Not on the bus okay, read it. Anymore. Let us see if the Trinity is there. Go ahead. No, listen. Uh, Jesus never said. Uh, don't tell me Jesus now. I, you, you don't change the topic. Read it. The verse in yeah. front of you. Go ahead. Do you know the Council of Nicaea? Don't change the topic. Now I want to ask you, well, it's the same topic. No. The Trinity is the no. topic, We are right? showing now a verse from the Quran, and then we can go after that. We can go to the Council of Nicaea. No problem. Yeah, let me see. Hmm. Uh, one minute, please. Hmm. You can open your Quran from your side. Chapter, chapter 4, verse 171. I'm at work now. Yeah. I don't this uh, guy he's in the bus. I mean you are a good Muslim. You are calling me to talk to chat in the work get lost I mean how good of you to talk from work. No, I don't call me don't call me You keep giving me excuses In the bus at work driving in the bicycle Why are you are calling me you are at work now? Yes. Yes. Okay. I have a break. I have a break. You have a break. Ah, okay You have a break and uh, they are paying you salary and you are chatting yes. from work Yes. Turn off your camera, please. I'm not interested to see your face. All right. Now read for me the 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 verse then. I don't see it. Why you don't see it? Verse uh, 171, right? Mm. Four, chapter four, verse 171. Mm. I see it. Okay. Hmm. Read for us. Go ahead. Yes, I'm reading. One moment. Yes. Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah, and his word, which he conveyed unto Mary, hmm. and the spirit from him. Hmm. So believe in Allah and his messengers, and say, hmm. not three sees. It's better. Hmm. So. Okay. So what does that mean? Explain to us. Here we go. You read the verse. What, uh, is, this is what is what is what, what who is not, who, who is not who believe is, in okay, the hold on, no part. who is Jesus according to Allah who is uh, Jesus? Jesus prophet this is another question he is what he's a he's a he's a messenger and what and a prophet and, and no, no, no. no 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 yeah. no 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 read read the verse with me what's wrong with you it says let us read together mm -hmm. it says here here it says that Jesus the Christ son of Mary he is a messenger correct yeah which yeah. means he came in the flesh as a man and he is his word, yes? All people of the scripture. This, my friend, is, is yeah. Jesus is the word of God, yes or no? No, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah. So why the Quran says, and he is his word? Yeah, he conveyed unto Mary. This, he, my friend, so, why it says oh. he is his word? Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, and the word after that. 
and his word which he conveyed so, okay so he is he is the word of god conveyed to me to mary correct oh no it what doesn't do say he, he's the word of god no it says his word his word of who he conveyed my so friend okay he is the word of who he is the word of who yeah the word of who he he, he he is here when he say word. his 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 goes to back to who mm -hmm. his, Mary. his is his go back to mary Mary is his. I don't see the Trinity in this. Uh, don't, don't don't change the topic. His his goes back to who? To Mary or to Allah? Yes. To Just who? To, between Allah and Mary. What, what do you mean between Mary and Allah? What's wrong with you? Who is the one who sent the word down to Mary? I read I read the sentence. Yes, my friend, and his word which he bestowed on Mary. His word who? Oh, who is his? No. no, I don't read bestowed. Convey. Let us take another Abdul. Hey Abdul, how are you? I'm good. How are you? So, what do you think about the Trinity in the verse in the front of us? Uh, inter what is it? The Trinity in the front of us. Trinity. Okay. Mm. In front of you, there's no Trinity. Well, it says Allah here. Says, people, says, all people of the book. Mm -hmm. Allah says, mm -hmm. all people of the book commit mm -hmm. no ex mm -hmm. excess. Hmm. In your religion, nor hmm. say of Allah hmm. ought by the truth. Hmm. Je Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, hmm. was no more than a messenger of Allah. Hmm. And okay? continue and his word. Okay. Which he bestowed on Mary. Okay. Maria. All right. So what he is? The spirit proceeding from him. Okay. So believe in Allah okay. So and he his is messenger. okay. So he is a man. Messenger, he's a man, right? Yeah, he's a man. Okay. And he is a word in the same time. Is that right? <laughs> He's a word, yes. Okay. He's a word the, of Allah. The, Allah says, the word of whom? The word of whom? Kun. The, is the word it, kun. Hold on. No, hold on. We will see if this is kun or not. So he is a messenger and he is a word. This is number two. Correct? Okay, he's a messenger. So All right. it means that and now, he's not and a guy. What, what is right number there. three? What is number three? He is a he is a spirit. Is that correct? He's a spirit. Okay. okay. So it is is it possible that God is a three and one? Or it is impossible only for a man to be three and one in the same time. So he's a messenger. Okay, one. This is not the question. The question is how you say in the same verse there's no trinity, but you just said that Jesus himself is a trinity. I didn't say he's a trinity. It says that. It says he's a man, he is the word, you, and he is you, a spirit. That's your belief. You're Christian. No, no, this you is your belief. This is your belief. No, believe no, in Trinity, we don't we believe, believe in, this. in him as a messenger. No, 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 no. In Trinity, we don't believe in this. Trinity is not this. Trinity is not this. This is Islamic Trinity. I'm asking you now. Does it say in the front of you that Jesus is a man and a word and a spirit in the same time? Yes or no? At the same time. So first he was a he's a word. Okay. Hmm. And he when he was born, so that means couldn't he? He was he was created right inside of the womb of um, Maria. Okay, right? so you just said everybody heard you that first Jesus was a word. Let us let us let us write this one here in the screen. Guys, did you hear him? He said, Jesus first okay. he was a word. Let us say, Jesus. I will type your words so you don't say to me later. It's I say something. Word. It's Allah's word. Okay. Was Allah so word? Thank you very much. Here we go. Allah word. Thank you. So Jesus was okay. Allah word. Okay. Now we go to the second okay. step. Okay. Jesus was. Allah word and this is number one. Okay, what okay, is but, what is the stage number two? The word is kun, okay, right, right with it. Kun. The word means kun. Okay, okay no problem. We will go to kun. So, so when Allah says kun, friend, does, it, kun. does it say here that the word kun is exist? Doesn't say, right? It doesn't say no. that. So don't add words. Okay, it here. So Jesus was the word of Allah. Okay, and what is the second stage? Second stage. He's a messenger. Okay. Okay. Second stage. He's a messenger. He's a man, right? Yeah, he's a man. Okay, Jesus. Jesus is a man now. Now, okay, so now Jesus is a man, thank you. And there, and then Allah put a spirit that was preceding him, like you know, okay, so he now could, Jesus, uh, he would heal. So Jesus, he became people, Jesus, have a spirit. okay, hold on, Jesus, have a spirit after he became a man, or became a man before he have a spirit. Sorry, you said Jesus now already became a man, so what the spirit for? The spirit oh, oh, oh. is for, for people to see that he could heal people. He's a prophet. That was signs for people to see that he's a prophet of God. Oh, so what, what does that mean? He is a spirit or he have a spirit with him? Allah gave him the spirit. Allah gave him the spirit. What spirit is that? The spirit is that, that you know, he will create, oh. like, you know, when he will create birds, he'll, like, blow into it and the birds will, the, bur the birds that will fly away, like, you know? 
What? what? No, 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 don't, don't, you don't make things up. It says in the it's front not of being, us. Not being things. Okay, I'm, I'm asking you, my friend, why we keep moving? Like, you know, is, is he a spirit, or he have a spirit with him? Either you say he is a spirit, Allah or you say spirit. Allah put spirit in him. Okay, he put a spirit in him, so he is, he have a spirit inside him, correct? Right, Allah put the spirit in him. He, he no doesn't problem. have it by himself, but he Allah is. But he, in, in but he, himself. okay. So now, number three, we write it here Jesus is a spirit in the same time, he have a spirit in him, correct? Okay, okay. So now, Jesus is the word, Jesus is the man, Jesus is a spirit. Three in one, explain to me how this happened. How this happened, so God created him. Hmm. Where, if for a sign for the people, because hmm. at that time, the Jews, you know, they they blamed. They blamed Mary at that time. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, don't don't go there. Don't care. I don't, I don't right? care about this story. It's a stupid story. This is not the question now. Uh, uh, again. Yeah, because See? Jesus blamed so, the uh, Jews, blamed uh, Mary. Don't blame there. You don't want to change anything. I'm asking you about this now. I'm not changing Jesus, anything. Jesus not is changing. the word of Allah. So what he was and where he was before he became a man. Can you explain to us? Sir, uh, what did you say again? Say that again. You just said that Jesus was the word of Allah. Correct? Okay. Okay. Where was the word? And what is the word? The word is kun. He Allah said to be. Where was, was be, where was, was the done. word? Okay, let us see if the word kun or not. Where was the word? The word was in the in the womb of Mary. The word was in the, so I, I thought the word was with Allah. So Allah said to the, Allah sent angel uh, and angel Gabriel, mm. right? Mm. When Allah said angel Gabriel, mm. Allah told them to blew the. Uh, Allah, you know, the rule. Okay, into the, okay. Can into you the can you show me where it says that the one who blew in Mary in her vagina is Jibril? It's not vagina. It's no. It says vagina. And show me where it, it says Jibril. He did that. You are lying now. Can I'm you, lying. Can you show me the reference where it says that Jibril he blew in her vagina? I didn't. I didn't say vagina. I don't okay, care if I you say it. or not. That's what it says in Arabic. Now, can you show me the reference where it says Jibril he blew in her vagina? So you see, you you didn't do your homework. You see, see you're, okay, you're I don't do homework. my homework. Get me busted. Show me the verse in the Quran where it says that Jibril he blew in her vagina. Go to Surah Maria. Okay. And read the story All when right. Angel Gabriel came to. Him. All right, that's wonderful. You go to Maria, no problem. Here we go. We go to Maria. Okay. What what verse? Go to anywhere. So, uh, start from the beginning, any, so any, any everyone verse. understands what the story is about. <laughs> what verse? Where? Where? Read it from the beginning. Read it from you, the beginning. You, so, you, Maria you, is about you don't know, Mary. don't you? So you do not know. All what you are saying, you throw a rock. You say, "Okay, go to Maria," but you do not know what we are talking about. Otherwise, you tell me what verse. What verse? You don't know. You want, do you, read, do you, read, do you, read it from you, the beginning. Do you need? Do you need my help? I don't need your help. If you did it, if so you know your homework, verse, just go okay, ahead. What verse? Tell me. Ahead. Tell me what verse. Go ahead. What do you mean? What do you mean? Go ahead. Where? Here we go. Where are Maryam? Where are Maryam? What Maryam? Okay. <laughs> so that that's the time when you know Zachariah, you're you're on, on the on where, that area. Where? 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 What the verse? You do not know. Tell me. If you need my help, I will show you the verse right away. Right away. Mm. Okay, we need we, we need your help. Okay, obviously you need my help. Here we go. If we go in the Quran in front of us, you will see that it says that the the, the uh, Allah he he uh, he sent his spirit to Mary and appeared to her as a full man. Yes or no? As a full man, yeah, Jibril. Mm. Okay, yeah. and this is and and what what is what what is the 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 full man? The, it doesn't say Jibril. Does it say Jibril there? Why you keep inserting mm -hmm. the word Jibril? Where it says Jibril? Does this, do you see anything where it says Jibreel? <laughs> why you keep inserting that, that, the word? That's why, I, that's why, why I'm you, keep... you read the surah from the beginning so you understand. My friend, read the holy chapter. Where is the word Jibreel? Where you say to me, in the Arabic it says that the spirit of Allah appeared to her as a perfect man. It doesn't say Jibreel. It's Jibreel. So Jibreel appeared to her. Where okay. it says Jibreel? Can you show me the verse? Can you show me the verse that says Jibreel? Oh, so that's here. So you must have you, you must have your fabricated story. So now let us go here. Not fabricated. You're fabricating stuff. Well, you have to show me where you get this from because when you say this is Jibreel, that is funny. 
because now you made Jibreel a creator. Is Jibreel is the one who created Jesus? I didn't say create. I didn't say he's a creator. Okay, I'm asking you because you said the one who blew in the Mary vagina is Jibreel. I didn't say vagina either. So are you saying that Jibreel is the creator? I didn't say that Jibreel is Then the who creator. is the one who blew in the vagina of Mary? I didn't say blow in the vagina. I, say I don't care. The Quran says that. Stop playing games. You're playing games because you're trying to. Okay, you're, are you, you're are you to willing? Are you are you willing to read in Arabic and you translate to us word by word? Willing, uh, willing to read word yes, by word. Yes, translate word by word. Let us see who is lying. What do you say? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll send you Zachary Naik. Okay. Zachary Naik, you send me Zachary Naik, Ooh. coward. But that's it. Did the person he named the Christian prince and did the crap person he asked for debate and we are running away from him. And by the way, Christian Prince is the coward. Tell me your faith. Give me your name. He will send me Zach and I. You see the potato? If you read the whole story, there's nowhere it says that Jibreel exists in the story. It says it clearly. And this guy, he do not know what he's talking about. That Allah, he blow in the vagina of Mary. It says here, Farjaha. Farjaha. Farj is a vagina. Maryam ibn to Amran. Allah, he don't even name, know the name of Mary, father. He think his name, her name is Amran. Fanafakna fihi min ruhina. So we blow into it from our spirit. It doesn't say Jibreel. So either you have to say to me that if he said that the one who did that was Jibreel, that means Jibreel is the creator. <laughs> you see how stupid Islam is. You see how stupid they try to avoid the problem here because Allah is blowing in the vagina of Mary to avoid this harassment to Allah and this exposure and this stupidity. They say, oh, this is Jibreel. But by doing that, Jibreel became a creator. Stupidity. I cannot find even a smart person to talk to. Let us see this guy. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Abdul. I have, I have a few questions for you. We have a topic. Have we, have a, we, have a, we have a topic. Like we have a topic. For a month, yes, for a have, month now? Yes, my friend. We have a topic. What do you want to say about the topic we're talking it's about? A, it, it's not about the topic, my friend. I want to ask what's your purpose on your whole fucking motherfucking low life what you what you are which which verse in the Quran are reading for me now like which verse in the Quran is that from the chapter of a Tawbah really a motherfucking what, loser okay what verse in the Quran is that to, what verse in the Quran is that what you are a motherfucker if okay I, I can show you that from the Quran too you up, okay you are a filthy what? idiot you are the son of Muta if you have a good mother you will not say something to somebody so he will insult your mother but because your mother obviously is a bad woman you don't care She's already insulted by everybody. Thank you for reciting the Quran. Filthy mouth. Garbage in, garbage out. This is why Jesus said, is not what go inside your mouth make you filthy, it's what goes from your mouth. And that is Islam. The followers of the same as their prophet, their prophet says, go and suck the penis of your father. And we show the reference. Their father, their prophet, he says, go and suck the clitoris of your mother. So why we are upset from a Muslim to say such a language? I made Muslims angry. I understand. They can't answer me. This guy here now, he will go and bring me Zach and Nag. What about you make your sheikh to call me again? Zach and Nag. So if we go back to the verses here, we will see that the three is one. The same verse saying that there is no trinity is the same verse saying that Jesus is exist as a world. Jesus is exist as a man. Jesus is exist as a spirit, three in one. And you will notice here the Quran confirming that Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. The only one is called in Islam, Kalimatullah wa Ruhullah is the Messiah. The word of Allah and the spirit of Allah, only the Messiah. Now he said that the Messiah is Kun, Kun, which means B, which is very stupid to say, proving Allah again to be false God. Why? Because Allah, He never create anything by saying Kun. And let me show you this. 
verse. This guy is quoting this verse, but you do not know he's quoting what from where. We are copy paste people. Chapter three, verse number fifty-nine. It says that the similarity between Jesus before Allah as Adam, he created him from dust, and then he said to him, "Be," and he was stupid God. Well, Jesus was not created from dust, and Allah did not create Adam by saying to him, "Be." What is that? Can you find me the reference in the Quran? Allah created Adam by saying to him, "Be." Where? I challenge any Muslim to show me where we can find this story. The Quran confirmed that Allah He made a mud, and then the mud, He fashioned it as a fashion of a man, a human being, as a look, and then He breathed into him, and then He became a man. Not only that, after Allah He fashioned Muhammad, uh, Adam, all, uh, Adam. <laughs> That the Messiah is yes, Abdul. So, Raya, Adam, Raya, you hang up. Adam, I don't have time for kids. Are you going to answer or not? No, I want to talk about Council of Nicaea. You don't go. We, we are. We have a topic now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Trinity. So the Trinity. Okay. So I'm asking you now. Mm -hmm. Did Allah created Jesus the same as Adam? Yes or no? No. I want to talk about Council of. Okay. Nicaea. This is our topic now. This is the topic. Is the Trinity? We are proving the Trinity here. Proving that your God is a false God. You are just a kid. I do not even need the Council of Nikia. I have it in the Bible in the Old Testament. And the Council of Nikia confirm what is in the Old Testament and what is in the New Testament. We believe in one God, our Father. In Arabic, we say, etc. So we learned this prayer since we were children. This is a this is just to confirm or to summarize our belief, but we don't even need it. Now we go here. How Allah He created Adam. You will not believe it. It says in the Quran, What does that mean? And a human being was in a rush. Chapter 17, verse number 11. What does that mean exactly? Allah created Adam Friday afternoon. And the sun was coming to set. And Adam, he was worried because Allah is so slow. And he said to him, finish me before the sunset. If you don't believe me, we we'll go right now to Ibn Kathir. You want to laugh? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Chapter 17, verse number 11. Here we go. This is your friend Ibn Kathir, the Joker. And now they will say to me, Ibn Kathir, he worked for me, as usual. Everybody worked for me. Read and laugh. Allah did not create Adam by saying B. It took him a lot of time and he was so slow. So look what he says here. And the man was ever hasty. Salman al Farisi and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet, when his soul was breathed into him. See, he did not say to him B, and he was, he breathed into him. And this is what the Quran says when you know when and we breathe into him, breathe what? Breathe into the statues. If we go in the Quran, we will come back here. I mean, let us see. If you go here in chapter 15, verse number 29, it says, Read with me. And when we shaved him and breathed into him, did he, Allah did not say to Adam, Be and he was. You see how they lie? Where is where is says he, he, he said to him, Be and he was. It took him a lot of time to finish him, he fashioned him. Then he breathed into him. 
and then he told the angels to bow down to Adam the first mushrika in 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 history is Allah is Allah is teaching people to bow down to a man don't text me guys when I'm explaining something please and if you have a question post it in the text no more question in Skype especially those who are repeating you know like non-stop the chat is exists for you to post when I have shaped him and the breathe my spirit into him so Allah did not say be and he was now we go to Ibn Kathir explain how Allah he finished Adam read with me Allah so it says here that when Allah he fashioned Adam and he breathed into him he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet when his soul was breathed into him it entered his body from head downward when it reached his brain he sneezed at you and he said alhamdulillah here we go Adam he speak Arabic when Arabic wasn't exist I mean what do you want more even Adam is an Arab <laughs> alhamdulillah and then he says and Allah said may your Lord have mercy on you Adam and when it reached his eyes he opened them look 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 and when he reached it reached his body and limbs he started to stare at them in wonder he wanted to get up before it reached his feet but he could not so he said oh Allah finish me before the Sun before the night come <laughs> Where Allah he says be and he was the guy complaining finish me before the sun set you idiot And by the way, I'm not going to ask you how Adam he knew about the sunset the guy He is just in the process of a creation. He speak Arabic. He knew the sunset and he is so in Alhamdulillah Do you see it? So why you lie to us and you say Allah and the Quran Allah he says be okay the Quran says that but this is a contradiction Allah never create anything by be even Adam was worried about is the night come look like Allah he don't have a flashlight hey Allah finish me before the sunset come on Allah if we go in the hadith to confirm this story <clears throat> You will see that according to Muhammad, Allah created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Do you see it? He did not say be. It took him six days to finish the whole, you know, you know and actually by, by the hadith here, it says seven days. The Muslims, they lie and they say, that the Quran, when the Quran says six days, is speaking about millions of years. Do you see your prophet saying Saturday and Sunday? What are you talking about? Millions of years, Saturday and Sunday? And millions of years, a Friday afternoon? Do you see how they lie? They try to make the Quran like, you know, because scientists, they say that the universe is created in millions. So the Muslim, they say six years, six days means six period of time. What a liar. It says six days. And your prophet saying he named them as Saturday, Sunday, Monday, etc. So the logic of Muslims of rejecting the Trinity is not because the Trinity is not convincing for them, just because Muhammad, he said, there is no Trinity. But in fact, the Quran confirmed that Trinity is exist. And Jesus himself, he presented the Trinity of Islam. He is a man. You know, if you go in the Quran, you will find the following. Let us go to the Quran. Was the Messiah exist before he was he was born? Yes. Read with me and laugh at the Quran. <clears throat> Do 
you can change to any translation you wish all of them they are garbage anyway chapter 3 verse number 45 read and love was the Messiah created or he was exist before his creation the Quran confirmed that the Messiah is exist before the creation or the birth when the angel said oh Maryam the angels not an angel oh Maryam surely Allah gives you good news with the word from him okay what is the what the word from him who is that word the Messiah all right whose name is the Messiah so he's he have a name before he was born he is exist the word what is the word is the Messiah how a person have a name before his birth who is his he is Ismuhu. you see in Arabic it says his name is the Messiah, not his name will be as some translation they say. His name, Al Messiah, the Messiah. Not his name will be called. So the Messiah was exist as a word before his birth. And here the Quran is trying to confirm John chapter 1 verse number 1 who is the Messiah in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God, with God and the word is the God and then verse number 14 it says and the word became became a flesh became a man Muhammad is trying to copy the book of the Christians and the Muslim today by the way they are disconnected with Islam the Islam you have today is not even the Islam of, of, of Muhammad. This is a different Islam. They have their own interpretation for everything. Like we say, Holy Spirit, they say Jibreel. Where it says Jibreel? Show me. They say anything contradict the Quran, we don't accept it. Well, the Hadith says Jibreel, the Quran doesn't say Jibreel. Show me one verse in the Quran saying that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. We want to talk about Nicaea. What about Nicaea? The, the Christian, they met together and they agree, but this is something already they agreed upon. And by the way, there's many countries are not connected to Nicaea meeting. Why? Because they are not under the command of the Roman, as example, India, Ethiopia. Yet all the Christians agree. The church in India, one of the oldest churches, which is founded by Apostle Thomas. In Arabic, we call him Tuma. have nothing to do with the Roman and they believe in the Trinity and their church is an ancient church those who live in Africa far away from the Roman even those who live in the in Persia who they are the enemy of the Roman all of them believe in the same belief the Trinity and the funny they say to you that the early father of the church has never taught the Trinity when we find that this is how you say the early father so who is John who is Mark? Who is Luke? Who is Paul? If those are not the early father, so who is the early father? What about the Old Testament? What about the book of Genesis? Even the book of Genesis, chapter number five, if you if you if you learn some Hebrew. You will see that there is a there is a the, you see the the Bible is not a, a book of names the Bible is a is a book of of uh, uh, of statements. Let me show you this. I will look for the video. I was typing in Arabic. <clears throat> 
Watch this and tell me what do you think. There's another place that God appears to have laid out his plan in advance, and that's in some subtleties, and one of which I'd like to share with you in Genesis chapter 5, a genealogy. The genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 goes from Adam, the first man, down through Noah. And in Genesis chapter 5, if you wade through that, I encourage you to make a list of the names. Adam gives, uh, gave birth to Seth. Seth, Enosh. Enosh, Kenan. Kenan, Mahalal. Mahalal, Jared. Jared, Enoch. Enoch, Methuselah. Methuselah, Lamech. And Lamech was the father of Noah. Let's take these names. Ten names. But see, the problem is we need to know what the names mean. And if you have a study Bible or a source, a, a lexicon, what have you, you know that the name Adam means man. As you go through your Bible, when these names are typically first introduced, most of your marginal footnotes will tell you what the name means. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring. Lamech means the despairing. And the word Noah means rest or comfort. Now, let's read that genealogy as a sentence. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. <laughs> that wild? Is it amazing? This is Genesis chapter 5. This is not the book of what Muslim they say, Nikia, Nisia, the meeting, the emperor, the Roman. This is the book of the Jews. Even the first names of the children of Adam, they are telling us the message of God. Those are not names. Do you see it? So they try to play games thinking that they can overcome the truth by their stupidity. You cannot, my friend. You cannot. And here we go. There's a guy, his name is Malik. He is saying to me in text, why you don't read this verse and that verse? Why you don't call me and we will read it together so we can laugh? Actually, I challenge you to call me and read those verses for me. Because the verses you are saying to me you want me to read will expose Islam. Guys, do you think this guy, his name is Malik, he dared to do so? I am giving you opportunity to explain yourself and let 1,000 people listening Learn from you something useful. Don't tell me why you don't read those verses. I read the whole Quran. Actually, the best way to prove Islam to be stupid is Muslims asking me to read verses. And you will notice right away, the second I start reading the verses they ask me to read, they regret. You don't, you don't want me to read no more. Yes, Abdul. Yes, what's your comment? Uh, so we're going to go back to the uh, Okay, topic so now. let us go back to the topic. Who is the one who breathed into Mary? Real or Allah? Uh, so who Jibril is the one? With the, with the order of Allah, okay? This is not the question. Who is the one who breathed into Mary? Is Jibreel or Allah? So... You, you want to read the story or you this is not that question give me the answer who is the one who breathed into Mary Jibreel or Allah make it short Allah would Allah ordered the angel Jibreel to blow in the womb of so so Jibreel is the one who created Jesus I'm not saying he created it so what the blow mean what you, what do you, you mean know, what the do you, okay hold on Jibreel. okay hold on what what when you say Jibreel he blow in Mary what he did by blowing so now we get, you, you want to read the story or no yeah, do you, do you even know where the story is located? Go, go, go to uh, sorry, Mariam. 
It's not in Maryam, you idiot. It is. It is. No, it's well, in the front it of you. It's in the front of you. Here we go. Okay, in front of me. Okay. Oh, you are talking about. Uh, uh, we are talking about blowing. How Allah created people, right? No, we're talking about how Allah created hmm. Isa. Oh, Jesus. okay. How Allah created Isa? He blow. How Allah created Adam? He blow, right? Listen, Adam. Who is the one who Adam created first, uh, 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 Adam? Is it is it Jibreel or Allah? Listen, Adam is the first creation of Allah. Okay. Okay. No, this is another question. How Allah created anything? Uh, he, uh, a, cre a creature which is have a Allah have created a, every, everything. Kun. When Allah said kun, that's a lie. Here we go. Chapter nine, chapter fifteen, verse number nineteen. It says that Allah He shaved him and then He breathed into him and then. Then he became a human being. He didn't say to him, "Be and you was." Okay, now you, you want to go back to the story. You also will read it. There, there's so it, it's there's so many uh, things you gotta uh, in Quran. You gotta when you put it together. Put it, it together, sense. no problem. You can put it together. You are welcome. Go ahead. Here we go. Chapter okay. chapter fifteen, verse number twenty nine. It says, "When we I have shaved him and breathed into him, did he shave him first? So he shaved what? When he says I shaved him, he was shaving what exactly? Shaped who? Adam. You are talking about Adam now. Yes, we are. We Jesus. are because the Quran says you are the one who says to me, "Con, con, con, con." Is coming from where? Con is coming from the verse saying that the similarity between Jesus and Adam, that Allah He says to you know created from dust. He said to him, "Con for your correct? Okay. Yeah, so God. let us see how so the con work here. Okay. Chapter fifteen. Hmm. Okay. Where's what? He said chapter 15. Verse number 29. Verse number 29. Hmm. Okay. When I fashioned him in a proportion and breathed into him, my spirit follow you in obedience unto him. So hmm. you're talking about Adam. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about who? You are the one who quote for me the word kun, so you cannot now escape it. So Kun, I'm not escaping it. Okay, I'm not so escaping so it. Is, isn't it Allah who compared between the creation of Adam and the creation of Jesus? Yes or no? Allah said to the to the people that those people that what is hard for me is it my friend? Don't Adam change the topic. Don't change the topic. Who is the one who breathed? The who I'm, is I'm the one who breathed into Mary? Allah or Jibreel? You said Jibreel. I said Allah said Jibreel, peace be upon him, to Mary okay, the breathing, the brain. breathing is the breathing of Jibril or the breathing of Allah. Of course, Jibril. Who created Jibril first? This is another question. Who is the one? The breathe is the breathe of Jibril or the breathe of Allah? So I'm telling. Listen. Uh, 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 no, uh, uh, no, uh, no. The breathing, uh, the breathing gonna, is the breathing of Allah it. or breathing of Jibril. I have. To, I, I need an answer. Stop playing games. When the breathe, when, you. when, games. when, when games. Uh, okay. So answer me. You said that the one who breathed into Mary is Jibreel. Did you say that? I said the one who blew into the womb of Mary, it was Jibreel. Yeah. Okay, nowhere in the Quran it says that. Yes or no? Yes or no? You, you wanna, if, if I show it to you, what, what are you going to do? Show me you are my hero. Really? Okay. You're going to become I Muslim today? I challenge you. No, I will become a Hindu. You're going to become a Hindu? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Show me. Let us laugh together. <laughs> Show me. Go ahead. What chapter? Okay. So everybody will laugh. So go go to chapter Maryam. Mm, chapter Maryam. Okay. Okay. You went there. <clears throat> no problem. What verse? So we can laugh together. Order, verse sixteen. Verse sixteen. Okay. Here we go. Read it for us and laugh together. Related in the book the story of Mary <coughs> when she withdrew from her family to a place in the east. Right. Mm, okay. Next verse. Mm. She placed a screen. To screen herself from them, mm. then we sent her or angel, mm. and he appeared before him as a man in all respects. Who is who is he? Who is he? Angel Gabriel. Wh where it says the angel? It says angel. You what, don't see that? Wh what? 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 Ruhana. What? Okay. Where it says? Okay. Oh, okay. He okay. Said, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You said Ruhana. How Ruhana became Jibril? That's it. He he's. He's the one who blew souls into the into Abdul, the Abdul, don't all, be all stupid. The, the Show me one place where it says that Jibreel is the one who blows soul. You want to see that? Okay. Go yeah, to, show go me. To, uh, Here we go. See Let us see. Computer. Hold on. You, you, Isn't it this is your God talking? <laughs> Isn't it this is your God chapter 15, verse number 29? Okay. 
who is the one who is the one who is the one who blow who is the one this is not the first creation the angel already created the idiot is the angels created before Adam or after Adam Adam or create Adam was created afterwards yes so the angels are first so what you are saying to me the first creation who's the first creation it's, it's not Adam the angels already exist before Adam yes or no Yes. Okay. So now, why you are saying who is the one now? He blow into Adam. Why the angels are not blowing as you claim? As I'm claiming what? You are claiming that the one who blow into Mary is the angels. Why the angels did not bl uh, uh, blow into Adam? Blow into Adam. Mm. Okay. Mm. So that was the first creation. Allah created it. That was the first. It is creation. not the first Allah creation. The Ad the angels created the created are before him. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at this guy now. So I'm not, uh, at that okay. time. Hold on. So what? So what? If he is the first creation, who care? You see, your God, he said, you are the one who quote for me ever saying that the similarity between Jesus is the same as Adam. Correct? Okay. Okay. How Allah created Adam? He breathed into him, not somebody else. So okay, Allah created Adam from dust. This is not the okay. question. This is not the question. How who is the one who breathed into Adam? Allah says that the creation of Jesus is the same as Adam, correct? Again, you, you, you're again you're confusing people with that. You are it's, the one is confused. You have no courage to answer. He said the similarity I'm between them. To answer if you you're confusing things. First, you have to know who Jibril is first. Do you know who's Jibril? Jibril is the angel that 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 that, that is the one who who brings a revelation from Allah to all the prophets my friend hold on just to show everybody how stupid Islam is I challenge you to tell me what Jibreel okay, mean okay. there you go what Jibreel mean as long as you want to tell me who is Jibreel who what Jibreel mean again what Jibreel mean what Jibreel mean I'm asking you what Jibreel mean he's he's a ruh Jibreel this is another question ruh, an angel no he is not a ruh that's a lie okay again let me ask again, you with... if I show you right now that the angels are not spread from the Quran what you will do from the Quran, you're gonna you're gonna show me what? That the angels are not spirit. That the angels are not spirit. Are not spirit. But if I show that Jibril is Jibril is a spirit. I challenge you. Go ahead. You say go ahead, go you ahead. say you said to First, me go to, go to chapter 19 to show you that, that this is Jibril. You, I went there. It says our spirit. So you lie. So now you keep jumping like a monkey from a place to place. You said to me you want to show me. I'm not jumping. Okay. You you have to now so, connect all the story now. So where where is the word Jibreel? Do you see it? It says our spirit, our spirit, Ruhana. Ruhana. So who's Ruh then? Who's okay. Ruhana? You tell me. Doesn't say Jibreel there. It's can Jibreel. Allah can Allah Jibreel. can Allah Ruhana say? Okay. Show me. Show me where it says that Jibreel is Ruhana. I will show you that. Okay, right now. Mm. So you're go gonna, you're gonna go there. Okay. Yeah. Where? What verse? So okay. we can love together. Al Baqarah, the chapter of the cow. I hope the Hindus are listening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all the Hindus, Jews. Yeah. Okay. What cow. verse? I know what verse you are talking about, so we can laugh. What verse you want to talk? Okay. Go go to the end of the first Jews. We will, what what what? The first Jews. What first Jews? What? You don't have you don't have uh, Jews. You don't know what Jews is. What? Do you know what Jews is? You say the chapter two verse what? I said Jews. What Jews? <laughs> what Jews? Jews, you're gonna go. Uh, are you gonna see right now? Sorry. You said to me, you wanna show me from the Quran where it says that Jibril I'll, I'll is. I'll you to just wait. I'm, I'm going there. Are you searching Google? I'm not searching Google. I'm, I'm looking on Quran. Do you need my help? No, I don't need your help. Go. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Because you're. you're because about you to don't know what you are talking about. You are wasting time to search in Google. I'm not searching Google. Okay, why, then why, tell me, tell me what verse. Tell me what verse. You, okay, tell me what verse. What what verse? What verse? I'll, I'll show you. Just wait a minute, bro. Mm, wait, so until we search in Google, right? I'm not searching Google. Mm. Why? Are you, why are you okay, you told me go to Al Baqarah. Here we go. We are stuck in Al Baqarah. What and we will see in the Baqarah? Go ahead. The cow chapter. The cow chapter. Mm, what we will find in chapter? If you see that he's, if you see that he angel Jibreel is, wait, 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 show me, show me, show me, blah, 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 show me. I challenge you. You gonna accept Islam today or no? I, I will, I will accept that you are an idiot. 
<laughs> you look so that I'm an idiot. Yes, because I can confirm. Anything? I can confirm that all of you are a bunch of liars and you do not know what are you talking about. Here we go. Everybody is watching. I'm waiting for you. I will give you 10 hours. Show me where it says that Jibreel is the spirit. Okay. Or the Holy Spirit. Just give, give me some time, okay? How many hours you want? Okay. I'm just going to get... Um, I'm on what the boom out of blue shell clean out and with kiss today man. Okay, and I got here <laughs> Okay mm. <clears throat> Do you need to call a friend no, I don't need to call a friend do you need to call Allah I am calling a library that alhamdulillah. Okay, do you need to call mommy? I don't need to call mommy. So show us the verse. You told me go to Al Baqarah and okay, suddenly, suddenly stop. Al -Baqarah. Uh -huh. Verse number 97. Here we go. We are in verse number 97. Read for us and love to guys together. Love together. Yeah. <laughs> first laugh. Go ahead, read it. Everybody will laugh at you. Okay, first laugh. I'm laughing all day long at uh, this cult. Read so we can laugh. You're, la you're go wasting ahead. your time. Go ahead. You said to me you will show me a so verse that says that Jibreel is the spirit. He's down the revelation to thy heart where Allah will. Okay, a confirmation of what we sent and guide guidance and glide tidings for those who believe. Okay, whoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels and messengers to Jibreel and Mikhail, hmm. Mikhail, hmm. lo, Allah is an and Allah is an enemy to those who reject the faith. Hmm. We'll reject faith. Where is the verse will show me that the breed is a spirit or the Holy Spirit? That, that's that's the worst. This is the verse. It doesn't say anything about the is the Holy Spirit. Where it says that? It doesn't say anything even about who is being a spirit. Why you are lying? <laughs> where in the world? Where in the sentence here we see the word spirit? Where we say it says that the enemy of Jibreel the Holy Spirit. Do you see it? You, you right promise there, me we'll you promise it. me that you will show me something very clear and everybody is waiting for you and you start searching in Google and now you come with this I search I search in Google <laughs> so why okay no you did it you, you took your time to find it obviously you are searching the prophet Google now where show me where it says that Jibreel is a Holy Spirit where it says that uh, here we go the verse in front of us we are laughing okay mm. the Holy Spirit right mm. so we're gonna go so not, it's not True. in the Baqarah. It's not in the Baqarah, right? It is in the Baqarah. So where here we go? We are in chapter verse, the, the chapter Al Baqarah, the cow, you know. And now verse number ninety-seven. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Go to eighty-seven. Verse eighty-seven. Baqarah. So Al Baqarah. Okay, eighty-seven. Here we go, guys. Eighty-seven. Discovery Channel. So we gave Moses. Moses the book and followed him upon the succession of messengers. Okay, that's one. Jesus, Jesus the son of Mary, clear signs mm -hmm. and strengthen him with the mm -hmm. what? Holy with Spirit. The, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay, where is so who is the Holy Spirit right here? Who is the Holy Spirit? Oh, it's, it's the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? It's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> why? Okay, let me ask you. Why Allah don't say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Why he cannot say that? Why he is calling? Why he is using two person? I mean, why he? Sometimes he is Jibreel, sometimes he is the Holy Spirit. If the same person, Jibreel is, the, is that's the angel. Okay, he's he's the Holy Spirit that brings. Souls Abdul, to the Abdul, people. Abdul. You see, everybody is laughing at you. Why Allah is saying that's 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 the 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 Qudus. Why he is saying and we supported him by the Holy Spirit? Why he don't say and we supported him by the Holy Spirit, Jibreel? Because Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. He, we, where we, where he say, okay, where right in here. the whole Quran he says that you, you fail, you keep showing me verses that have nothing to do with Jibreel. Where here it says that this is Jibreel. Secondly, Abdul, isn't it you who just was reading now in your search? It says that the, the, the angels they bow down to Adam. Yes, the angels they bow down okay, to why Adam. Okay, why they why do why they bow down to Adam? Because it was the order of Allah to bow down to them. What on to Adam? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Why? I, Allah just ordered them to. Why? Do why? Why? Allah ordered them. That, why? Why? I got it. I got it. Allah, you ordered them. Why? 
Okay, order them. So, you, so you, you are saying to me, go, so go you ask all them. Why did you order them? Okay, so order you them. are saying to me, is, is Jibreel is a sinner? I didn't say he's a sinner. Okay, so why the holy will bow down to the sinner Adam? If <laughs> Allah, the, guys, no, uh, listen, so listen, first, listen, first, this, listen Allah, to this first, stupid, Allah listen to this stupid created, religion. Creates, right? Listen to this stupid religion. If Jibreel is the oh, Holy God. Spirit, how you order a Holy Spirit to bow down to a sinner man? His name is Adam. Explain to us. What? You, you want to listen or you just want to keep on? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the answer. Why? Okay. So why, why, why will your know, wiles will be, will be answered? So first, you have to know who the creator is. Okay. Here we go. So you know, the, the, creator. the creator is Allah. Okay. <laughs> what does this have to do with our question? Why Allah yeah, he ordered question, the Holy Spirit to bow down your brain, to Adam? Your brain, your brain, your brains are stuck. I, I try to open your brain. Ah, uh, open it, open it. You are, you are Joe the plumber. Okay, okay Joe the plumber. So Allah is the creator. Mm. Okay. Mm. Angels are the creation, and mm. jinns they are the creation. Okay. Mm. Mm. Now uh -huh. Allah created Adam, uh -huh. and Allah told him, "I'll have made a new, new creation." The nice, angel said, "What?" Nice story. That okay. They, uh huh. And where is my answer now? And what did the angel say? The angel said mm -hmm. that they'll create create mischief on the face of this earth. Uh -huh. Allah said, so the angels they did something I, wrong. Okay. What the angels they said? Okay. Are you no, going watch, to create watch. something? Uh huh. Right, now God told them, "Now when I have created Adam, prostrate to Adam, right?" Mm. So all the angel prostrated, but Iblis didn't. This is not the question. Why Allah he told yeah. them to bow down, you idiot? How many times I need to repeat that, the question? That was his order. That was why, his, why, was why? But why the order? What for? Why? What they did exactly? Is that, that, that order. is that a penalty? Like, is that a penalty? It's not a penalty. It's just to see their obedience. How they how you, obedient you are, are a him. liar. You are a liar, my friend. You just say that the liar, angels, bro. the angels, they question the decision of Allah of creating Adam. They said to him, "Are you going to create someone? He would do mischief, man. Yes or no?" So why did they say that? Let me ask you that. Why they say that? Because they are smart, and Allah is an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Because they said uh, that okay, because let, let us let us see if, if they are right. Was Adam truly did mischief, man? Yes or no? What are you saying again? Did Adam do mischief, man? As the angels they said or no? <laughs> I don't know what are you saying, bro. What do you mean? What do you mean? Did Adam uh, do mischief, man? Yes or no? Mischief, man? Mm. The angels what, what they said. Mean? The angels they said to him, "Are you going to create someone who will do mischief, man?" Right? You are the one who was reading that I, verse. Well, I'm me. asking you. I'm asking you. Why did the angels say that to Allah? Because they knew what Adam will do. This is a mistake in the Quran. Oh, you are dumb. This you, is a, you are dumb over here. This is a mis they said this is a, because this is the mistake in the Quran. You want, to, you want to hear the answer? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mm. They said that because the the jinns they were created before before the humans, right? Mm. So they saw because because the jinns they were created on the face of this earth, and they used they used to fight. They used to blood, you know, shed blood on the face of the face the of the earth. Right? The jinn. Uh huh. Nice story. The jinn. Mm -hmm. Nice story again. Nice story. <laughs> Can you show me the reference? <laughs> Can you show me where you get this reference from? I can't go with the references. Mm. You want to listen first, then you. We'll oh yeah, no, I, I listen to reference, not only to far, a fairy story stories. Show me where you get this from. That the genie was in the earth first. <laughs> the genie was on the earth first. Okay, Wait, again. you are the one who's saying that. See, you you are confused with this. See. Again, you, are you so, are you are you stupid or not? You are the one who said to me that the genies they were fighting and there's bloodshed. Genie and they have blood, you idiot. They don't have blood, really. G genie, they have a blood. Okay, show me the story so we can laugh together, guys. Don't you want to see the story of the genie fighting in the earth and they are shedding blood? Blood of who? <laughs> see, that's the, where you, your your guys' brains are stuck. Okay. Okay, Mister Mister so, Smart, Mister Smart, we are waiting for you to tell us how the genie they were shedding blood and blood of who. If Adam is not created yet, they are shedding blood of who? Adam was not created. Yes, so the, Adam was, so the genie was, was fighting. Adam. The genie so the they angel, were the so genie. You okay, you said you said you said, go, you go said hold on. You said the genie were in Earth, correct? All the ghosts, yeah, they were on the face of the you earth. You said yeah. genie. There's no ghost in Islam. Don't don't be a stupid liar. There's okay, no ghost. Jinns, okay, all the jinns were on the okay. face of the earth. Okay, where where it says that in the Quran that the genie they were in the earth before Adam? Where where it says that? Yes, where it says that. Okay, I'll, I'll we'll go back to that first. No, 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 no. We will not go back to. I want to learn from you. No, no. I just learned something new from you. Show me where it says that in the Quran. I want to learn it from you. 
I'll, I'll show it to you. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You show it to me. I, I will wait. I will. I will wait. No problem. No, 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 no. Show me, everybody. You know, I will, I will let you go home today, and your your bum is red like like like, like a monkey. You show me right now what are you talking about? Otherwise, everybody will laugh at you. You said it says that in the Quran. Show me where in the Quran it says that the genie they were fighting each other, shedding blood, and this is why the angels they said that to him. So you want to listen? You want to listen? Where where in the Quran it says that? I'm listening. Oh, because listen, you, you didn't let me finish. My no, 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 I want the reference. No, 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 I want the reference. I, I, see again. I, no, you cannot play this stop, game with me. Stop, you say see, something. That, 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 you cannot get away. You cannot get away. You cannot. You cannot get away question. with the Christian prince. You have to give me what you say. The proof. Where do you get this story from the Quran that the genie was created before Adam and Earth, and they were shed in blood? Blood of who and where and where we can find this? You want. You want to. You want to let me answer the first question. We will go. We'll, we'll blah, go blah, 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 blah. Show me where you get this from. You. <laughs> Okay, I, I want you to say I am a liar and there's nothing like this in the Quran. Just say it. You are a liar and no, you say you are a liar. Say it, say it. Otherwise, show me the verse. Here we go, guys. What will hurt? We are wasting time. We are wasting time. Why you don't say to me, okay, open this verse and we together? I challenge you. Otherwise, you have to apologize for me, a liar like your shake. Again. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you Brother. that yeah. Yeah, so are you going to tell me are you going to tell me the reference or not are you going to tell me the reference or not i'll give you the reference this, okay you want to first let me answer the question or no, no this is the question now this is the question we are talking about the same topic you are the one who mentioned it, so it's part of the, the story you are the one who mentioned that so show me where in the quran it says that genie was created before adam and earth and they were slaughtering each other and shedding blood i want to see that you want to see that hmm. really yeah really really Either uh, you know, either you say that you apologize for lying, fabricating a story, or you say this is the story and Christian prince you do not know. Get me busted in front of everybody. Show me. Go ahead. Get you busted. Yeah. Okay. First, I'll get you busted with the first question to answer. Finish the first. No, no, no. First, no. We start from the, this one and then we go back as you wish. No problem. Show me the. Well, show, why, show me well, where. Why, show me where it me? says. Show me where it says that the genie they are fighting. And they are shedding blood. I want to see that. I want to learn something new from you. You want to see that? Yes, I want to see that. Okay. So we'll we'll, we'll see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first we, we we're gonna go back. No, you, no, no, not first uh, and the second. Show me, show me, no, show me, show me, show me. Everybody is laughing at you. You are you're, you're, you you are a, you are a liar, a fabricator like your prophet. You Otherwise, liar, show me. You're okay, here we go. Okay, I have I have time. Show no, 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 no. You have to show us. You, you, let me let me finish the story. No, I, no, I, no, 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 no. The story here. Here's the story that the genies they were slaughtering the blood. The blood of who? Each other. Show me that story, in the Quran. Go ahead. In the Quran. Yeah. <laughs> You want to let me finish the first, the first or no? You will not answer, right? I'll answer. I'll answer no, you, you will never answer. Week. Okay, show me then. Okay, give me the verse. Give me the verse number, the chapter number, the verse number, and then we can go and you can continue the story. Just give me, give me. I want to learn from you. You want to first, you want to first listen, listen to her? No, no I <laughs> want you to give me the chapter number and the verse number. I never heard this before. I want to learn from you. Today you are our sheikh. We are no. learning from you. Go ahead. Tell us what I'm, chapter. I'm, I'm teaching, I'm teaching you the story now. You see, you are a liar. You can prove what you just said. This is the whole story. I'm proving it to you. If you let me. Okay, then you give me, me the reference. You, to prove it, you have to give me the reference. Give me the reference. Why it's hard for you to give the reference? Is it a secret? It's not about secrets. So give it to me. Yes, come on. Like everybody is waiting for you. Just give it to us and we are done. And we continue. Give us chapter. Say, okay, you don't believe in the story. Here we go. Chapter, etc. Verse, etc. Show us. Go ahead. You want to let me finish the, the story or no? Get lost, kid. Let your dad call me. The story in the front of us proved to us that you are a liar and you fabricated stories. And the Quran never says so. Secondly, it proved to us that Allah is a false God. Why? Because look what the story is saying. The angels are questioning Allah about his decision to create a man who will take over the earth. That is a sin. So how you call Jibreel an angel and he is a Holy Spirit? If he is a Holy Spirit, he should be holy. 
and an angel who question God obviously is not holy that is a sin it is a big sin in Islam to question God are you by the color of book a little Mila Ika in Nija I don't feel already Khalifa by the way it's not Khalifa it's Khalifa Kalu Tajalu Fiha man you see do Fiha or yes we could do my are you going to do this is the questioning and then he said to them I assuredly I know what you know not so the angels now challenging Allah about his knowledge and Allah here is acknowledging that they are telling a lie why because they accuse Adam that he will do mischief meant and he told them I know what you know not which mean Adam would not do that and then Allah he wanted to prove to them that they are ignorant so look what he did stupid story he told them he went to Adam and he taught Adam all the names and by the way this is something he stole some of it from the Bible what God he taught Adam all the names but Muhammad he had his own fiction story to it so here became about a challenge between Allah and the angels and Allah he taught Adam all the names and then he placed all those things in the front of the angels and he said to them if you are a truthful tell me the names of those things truthful about what about Adam would do mischief meant. if you speak truly so what Allah is accusing the angels they are lying So how the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, yet Allah is accusing all the angels to be liars. Do you see how easy to debunk this stupid argument? Do you see it, guys? In two seconds, the claim that the Holy Spirit is an angel, his name is Jibreel, became a lie. Allah is saying to them, if you are, if I say to you, if you are telling the truth, that's mean I am saying to you, you are not telling the truth, right? And Allah here, He's proving to them that they are not telling the truth. And what is what is what they say that Adam will do mischief meant? But all of us we knew here that Allah is the liar, not the angels, based on the story. Because Adam, yes, he did mischief meant, and Adam later was kicked out of heaven. So the angels was right, Allah was wrong. So here we see. That because they accuse Adam would do mischief meant Allah he ordered them to bow down to Adam as a penalty, as a punishment. Do you see it? This is was a punishment, punishment because they accuse him that he would do mischief. Meant. And then we said to the angels, bow down to Adam. So this is was a penalty for. They are opposing Allah in the creation of Adam, saying to him, are you going to do create someone who will do mischief meant? And Allah don't agree with them that they are telling the truth. He said to them, you are not a truly telling the truth. I know what you know not, which means what you just said is a lie. So he made them bow down to Adam as a penalty. How you call Jibreel Holy Spirit then? How you call anyone holy if he commits sin? You Muslims, you slander the Holy Spirit. And I warn you, the one who insults the Holy Spirit, he will go to hell. This is the whole idea of your prophet, is to insult the Holy Spirit. He made the Holy Spirit a bad person. And when you say, when a Muslim he says something to you, always learn to get him busted right away. Don't wait for him. Don't wait for him to skip this, the, the topic. Did you find me the reference? Yes or no? Abdul, Abdul? Did you find the verse? Yes or no? Sorry? Did you find the reference? It's not about the reference. I'm talking about. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, did you find where it says that the genie, they were slaughtering the blood of each other? Yes or no? Again, you again with your get lost, <laughs> coward. This guy is a Muslim. Let us see what this guy wanna say. <clears throat> You don't even have internet. So you see, guys, when a Muslim he make a lie, get him busted in the spot. Don't let him go with it. They throw things and the they try to make like okay they flood you with with a statement all of them they are false 
and they push their 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 fictions and their lies between the words and they are assumed that they will not force them to ask where you get this from don't let him do that they are trained to lie but being trained to lie will not make you truthful anyway still you are a liar and we will get you busted no matter how much you are trained to lie somebody is asking me why jesus healed by spitting this is the water my friend jesus jesus he created eyes for a man this is a, this is exactly how god created the man he makes mud well, he made mud what what is mud dust and water so when jesus he spit in the eye of the person he created his eyes the new eyes jesus is the creator let us see how many muslims will leave islam after watching our video today what do you think guys how many will leave islam today can we guess there's a guy he's saying he will expose me later why don't expose me now I mean why all the Muslims are hero after I hang up we we'll give you a chance to call me get me busted life show me the reference and prove me wrong and what do you do we we'll expose you later When, when the cat goes, the mice come. Call me now. Here we go. Why you want to expose me later? Let 1,000 people watching. A golden opportunity to expose a Christian prince. I mean myself, I don't dare to call myself, actually. I get scared. Who in the world is going to... Once I debated myself in the mirror, I lost. Why you want to call me later? What later present for? You know, are you Allah who says to me, Christian Prince, I will show you later? Yeah, later come. Your God Allah, He promised that if you don't believe you Christians in Muhammad, I'm going to erase your faces. What does that mean? Read and love. Chapter 4, verse number 47. Allah spoke specifically to the Christians, saying to them, if you don't believe in Muhammad, now, not later in the judgment day, I will erase your faces the same as I did to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. And what happened? Nothing happened. Still, I have my eyebrows, and I have my face, I have my eyes, and they are not erased. If we go and see the interpretation for this verse, you will see how stupid it is. Proving Allah to be false. Chapter 4, verse number 47. 4. Here we go. 47. Try not to laugh. This is your Islamic website. And this is your scholar. This is your shaky shake. Hmm? Allah making a threat to the Christians, saying to them, if you don't believe in Muhammad before the morning, Mm -hmm. This I would do to you the same as I did to the Jews. Read. Oh, you have been given the scriptures. Believe in what have revealed to you the Quran, confirming what is with you, confirming what is with you. Of the Torah, before we elaborate faces, erasing eyes and noses, Allah will erase our eyes and noses. By the way, if you watch uh, uh, Netanyahu in the TV, in the news, he have no eyes and he have no noses. This is true. I saw many Jews and many Christians, they have no eyes, no noses, no more because of Allah. They refuse to believe in the Quran, brother. I mean, is it obvious, brother? Huh? So Allah, he threat that if you don't believe in Allah, he will erase your nose. He will erase your eyes, okay, and eyebrows, and he is going to turn them inside out. Yes, Abdul, did you find me the verse in the Quran or not? I have the verse for you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. One, two, three. What one, two, three? 
So you, you, you are, you are mentioning this uh, story of erasing your face, right? Don't change the topic. Did you find me the verse, yes or no, about the genie they are starting each other? <laughs> you, want me, you want me to let them finish the story or no? Just get lost. A kid like your prophet. So here it says, and I will erase, erase in their eyes, noses, and eyebrows in them and turn them inside out. And make them like naps of the neck of a flat plate or curse them by transforming them into apes and curse them the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath and the Christian didn't believe and nobody believe and still nobody his face lost his eyebrows and his eyes what is what this guy is talking about what kind of God he says Believe before I do this to you the same as I did to the Jews which means this is not in life after life This is now because he did transform the Jews supposedly into pigs and monkeys now not in the day of judgment hmm? <laughs> Stupid God Allah is doing plastic surgery now Allah is doing a horror movie Allah will erase your eyebrows. Uh, go to China. People will like you, my friend. They don't like eyebrows. They like to draw them. They will pay you. Go to Thailand, Allah. You can open a great business there. You can erase a lot of things, especially the penises, for those who they don't want to be a male. Allah can be a very successful business in Thailand. Anyone want to turn himself into a female, he go to Thailand, and Allah will open a clinic. He erased penises. He turned it upside down or inside in, outside in. Sorry, this is God. This is God making a promise that if you don't believe, I will do this to you. Okay, do it. Here we go. And he was speaking to, to people who live in the time of Muhammad, not after. And not only that, Muhammad always he used these fictions to scare people around him. You know, Muhammad is like a witch scaring people. I will, I will do this to you if you don't believe in me. Really, look what Muhammad he said to the Muslims. Imagine Muhammad he said that if a Muslim he raised his head before the Imam, before him, when he is praying, Allah will turn the head of the Abdul to a head of a donkey. Do you believe it? This guy is obsessed with the idea of transforming a human into animals. Even the Muslims, he tried to scare them, saying, if you raise your head before I finish the prayer, Allah will transform your face into a face of a donkey. And that explained why Ahmadinejad looked like that. This is a prophet of God. Can you show me one Muslim who raised his head before the Imam finished the prayer? Allah, he made his face a face of a donkey. Or it is a lie. <laughs> brother and sister, if you raise your head before the Imam finishes the prayer, brother, let us call Zakir Naik and ask him what he think about this. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, uh, can I talk to brother Zakir Naik? I told you, I told you 1,000 times, don't call me. I know that you are a Christian prince. And you change your voice, I still I know you. Uh, brother, I just have a question about Mr. Donkey. I don't care. I don't, don't ask me question. I am done. Uh, brother, why the prophet, he said, if you raise your head before the imam, Allah will make the head of the Abdul a head of a donkey. Actually, this is the proven to be accurate. If you look in my country, you will find a lot of faith that look like donkeys. As an example, look at me example. I, when I was a child, I read my faith before the Imam and look what happened to me. I'm trying to grow my beard, never grow. And this is the proving that this is the true. And never call me again. Thank you very much. What the heck? Zakir Naik is trying to grow his beard. You are right. Is that a growing because... Ah, now I know what's the growing donkeys don't have beard like few here hmm? 
It must be a true story. I mean, the prophet is not lying. Come on, show respect. What about you, Muslim? Now you go before the Imam finish the prayer. Raise your head and let's see if this is true or not. From 1.4 billion Muslim, not even one person he left his head before the Imam until now. Welcome to Islam. Don't forget to subscribe, please, if you like what our channel here. And don't forget to download our videos if you like to download into your channel for free too. All my videos are for free for you to download and to share. All right? My work is not meant to be for me. My work is meant to be for everybody. So I don't care if you can make a from my channel videos subscribers more than me good you know good for you my friend this is not about me this is about sharing the truth that's why we encourage people to share and to download anyway with this we are going to finish for today we are here for many hours and i hope uh, today we have a good time uh, together and uh, i will try to be on air tomorrow so don't forget to subscribe tell your friends about our channel and again, we have a channel, uh, we have a, a place where you can always find and contact me. I mean, just to be in touch. I mean, where I am, what my new channel, because sometimes we lose a channel any, any, any time. You never know. Uh, no, no, my friend. No, no more call. Sorry. Chapter 97, verse number four, it says Jibreel is Ruh. No, it doesn't say that. Oh, some dude. It, it doesn't say that but I will take your call just because you, you just you said you want to call go ahead go ahead hello mute, mute you too please oh yeah hello yes yo um what's up um I just want to um, tell you something about you said that no one in the Quran does it say Jibril is a rule yes um it does no it doesn't say that where, 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 where chapter where? chapter 97 verse 4. okay here we go read the verse for us so we can love together okay um tanzeel al malaikati wal ruhu fiha bi izni rabbihim in kulli amrin the angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their lord for every matter hmm. you just approved to me just that talk. islam is false and you are you know i like your arabic by the way it's funny listen carefully you are the one who chose this verse for me, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know? Do you know how dangerous this verse you chose for me? Uh, what do you mean? Well, you just said the angels and the spirit, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. If the angels are the spirit, then we should not say the angels and the spirit. Uh, well, that's that's besides the point. It's no, 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 no. It's not beside the point. You are the one who quote for me this verse to say to me that Jibril is a spirit. And this is the same verse proving that Jibreel cannot be a spirit because if Jibreel is a spirit, then Allah cannot say, should not say, the angels and the spirit. When it said spirit, it was talking about jinn. Ah, now jinn is a spirit too. Uh, yeah. You, you call me to say that Jibreel is a spirit there and you, a second ago it was the spirit is what Jibreel, now he became a genie. A second ago, you just said to me, and you text me in Skype saying, I will show you a verse saying that Jibreel is a spirit. And you quote for me this verse to prove to me that Jibreel is a spirit. And now, just because I showed you how stupid this is, in the magical way, it became that this is the spirit, is the genie. So now Jibreel became a genie. Uh, well, no, no, no. What? No, no, no. <laughs> Isn't you who used this verse to prove to me that Jibreel is a spirit? And okay, now you are saying to me, and now angel you are saying spirit. to me, Jibreel is, is a genie. Are different. What the different? You are the one who called me, and you are the one who texts me saying, I have a verse I want to show you. This verse saying clearly that Jibreel is the spirit. I said, Okay, let me call you then. And you call me. And now we have the verse in the front of us. And then after I showed you that this verse is proving the opposite, suddenly you change Jibreel from being a spirit to make the spirit the genie now. Okay, look, he's not an angel. What do you mean he's not an angel? Jabril not an angel? Jabril isn't an angel. He, he's not, he's not, he's a spirit. Who, okay, where do you get this from that Jabril isn't an angel? 
Uh, okay, look, read from the beginning of the chapter. It said in Laylat al Qadr. Um, the, um, my friend, Jibreel my friend. Let, let, okay, my friend. What, either you get me a reference says that Jibreel is not an angel, and then I believe you, or you do not know what are you talking about. Can you show me okay, a reference? No, okay, nowhere does it directly say it, so we have to look at the context. Yeah, context. Here Ooh. we go. The game again. The same verse you gave me, approving Islam to be stupid, and Islam is based on stupidity. How you say to me that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, and now his spirit became a genie, and how how in a, in a in a magical way Jibreel is not an angel no more. Here we go. We got Abdul now. He just called us, says Jibreel is not an angel. You believe it? I mean, can, do you can you imagine the madness of this cult? They are confused. One he said to me, Jibreel is an angel. The other one he says to me, Jibreel is not an angel. The other one he says to me, Jibreel is a spirit. The other one says, no, he is the Holy Spirit. And he is an angel at the same time. They are very confused cult. But the verse in the front of us proved that Jibreel cannot be an angel as a Holy Spirit. He is an angel only. He is because it says in, in where uh, that the angels and the spirit descend. If Jibreel is the spirit, then who is the angels? He cannot be both. It says the angels and the spirit. It doesn't say the angels who they are the spirit. The angels and the spirit, which means there's two kinds of creation. There's angels and there's a spirit. And Jibreel is an angel. Now this kid, he came to us with something new, that Jibreel is an angel no more. And as I say, my friend, the more you listen to them, trying to teach you, explain to you, the more you laugh and the more you see how stupid this cult is. I never saw on my life a stupid cult as this cult. It beat all other cults. Nobody can beat Islam with stupidity. It's beyond imagination. So I want to say again, thank you for being here. And we'll see you again, maybe tomorrow, God is willing. And we'll see you again. May the Lord bless you all. Have a great weekend. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.